What's going on, everybody? It's Kirby Vandy Walker here at Kenyon Wanamingo High School. Welcome to tonight's game between the Blooming Prairie Blossoms and your Kenyon Wanamingo Knights. Got the C Squad game starting us off tonight. It's a triple header. C Squad, JV, and varsity teams all playing tonight. Busy week here at Kenyon Wanamingo High School. Both the girls and boys in action tonight. Tomorrow, the Bulldogs from Plainview, Elgin, Millville come to take on our girls team. Thursday, the wrestlers head over to Medford. And finally, on Friday, we have a doubleheader at Hayfield, both boys and girls. The boys will play at 6, the girls will play at 8 o'clock. Looking forward to that. 47 degrees on my car as I rode over here. It uh, doesn't feel like basketball season. It feels like baseball season out there. But we've got a month left in the basketball season. <clears throat> Matt Nelson, former KW teacher, now teaching at Cass and Manorville. One of the officials tonight, good to see him. He hasn't been here yet this year. When I was coaching, he was a regular official. We appreciate all of those officials that make these games possible. So if you see an official, tell them thank you. <clears throat> Archie Eversoll singing. This is a song that uh, oof, brings me back to college. Warming up with the team in the locker room. On the court for the Knights to start this one out, Padraig Visna, he'll jump it off. You got Jackson Hedin, Carson Sen, Seth Aldorfer, Jaden Carroll. Knights are down a couple of players. I don't know where they were. They weren't at school. Andre, you always let that go to the tip, then we shut it off. I got it on my phone. All right, Knights are on defense first. They've play, been playing a lot of zone. Looks like they're starting out in zone, and Jaden gets his hand down one. Another one. Deflections early. Another one, three deflections, first possession. Number two will throw it in there, going a 1 4 look. Inside. 32 shot fakes, puts it up, no good. Hadeen with the board. <clears throat> See how the Knights do without one of their top scorers. Landon Johnson not here tonight. Visna catch and shoot, top of the key. He's got it. Padre Visna, three ball. Give Padre credit. He's been telling me how he's been working out in the offseason. And uh, these guys hope to have a good high school career. Got to put in the work. Knights still in zone. Carson at the top of that zone. 
No, nope, now they went to man this possession. Inside on the curl cut. Number one throws it up off the window. It's good. Number one with his first basket. Carson corrals the ball. Back pick on for Jackson. Need to move the ball this way. There we go. It's been on that side too long. Get the defense moving. Aldorfer, a little turnaround, tough shot. One and done for KW. Inside it, no good. Padraig with the board. And that's something he's got to, I think, get a little better at is he gets that rebound, and then he wants to put it down right away by his shins. Just keep that ball under your chin. Here's a steal. Knights telegraphed that one. Knights are going to pick up the foul. I believe it's Carson Sen. And, yep, that's right. Send a number one to the line. His first shot's good. 3-3 three, three early on. Jack Vierling in attendance just made his way in along with Tanner Hedin. And he gets both. All four points off the shooting hand of number one. Man defense. Knights in their swing offense. A little back pick here. Up from there. Ooh, nice catch by Padraig. He puts it off the glass and in. Padraig with five points. Nice pass that time. I think it was Jaden on the assist. <clears throat> Number one, kick out. Tough shot off the mark. Jaden had it, lost it. Offensive board for 14. Jackson's digging. And he's going to have a foul. Ball's on Jackson Hedin. One four look again. Same type of play up to 32. Spin move back to the left shoulder. Right shoulder, that is. Dead ball rebound out of bounds to Blooming Prairie. ball off the heel another offensive rebound fourth opportunity here this possession We flew out. He wants to drive. We got a trap in the corner. And the Knights can't keep the trap without fouling. They'll pick up their third foul. Fouls on Aldorfer. Seth with a strip. Kick out, Jaden, three ball. Seth with another opportunity. Vizna's already hit one, sets his feet, lets it fly off the mark just a little bit. Rebound number one, he's everywhere. It's going to be Blooming Prairie ball.
Tried the give and go. Didn't quite work out. Jackson looking for a kick. Seth gets into the lane, and he puts it in. Aldorfer with his first basket. <clears throat> Inside, number one, middle of the lane, can't get it. It's a fight for it, tapped around into Padraig. I'd like to see Jaden spin back to his left hand. Make the easy pass, boys, make the easy pass. Uh, we got split and we reached. We didn't show our numbers. Instead, we tried to help with our hands and we pick up a foul. Severson will re enter the game for the first time, taking out Jackson. There's a three that's missed and tracked down by Seth. Coach Amphitson saying spacing had all five on the same side. <clears throat> Ooh. All right, two Derek, good hands. Uh oh, steal. Carson's trying to track it down, but he can't. One gets a chance, and he puts it in. It's six to seven. Knights with a one-point lead. Severson open. He nails it. Instant offense off the bench with Severson. That's a luxury to have, you know. Going to that bench. Be able to count on your guys to provide on offense. Curl cut by 32. We didn't see it. He misses it. Severson gets the board. Ooh, we got lucky there. Padraig up ahead, trying to get around the D. Inside to Derek. There he is again. Off the window, Severson with a little kiss. Running that circle offense where they curl off that top screen. Knocked away by Seth. Here it comes. Tough pass. The old point to post pass. It's tough. <clears throat> Some new players coming in. 33 and 5. Severson, little 16 footer, why not? Why not? Onions, baby. Good wall up by Seth and Padre there to make him shoot it over instead of slapping or. Whatever. Carson puts it on the deck left hand. It looks for Severson. He just made three in a row. But instead we throw it to the Blossoms. Five with a layup. He gets it. He gets in the game and puts one off the window. Aldorfer, corner pocket. No good. That one's blocked. Seth gets it off the tip. Jaden finish, he does. Tough finish. Contested finish, he gets it to go. Another tip. Here's Seth trying to convert. He gets it in the bucket and the foul. Defense to offense, two trips in a row.
Luke Cordes will check in for the Knights. He's replacing Carson. Couldn't get the end one. Ten point advantage for KW. Knights are just going under that screen. And there's a contested shot, no good. Severson's tracking it, it's an offensive board. And we're gonna have our first timeout. It'll be a full timeout called by the Blossoms with 6.49 left first half. We're gonna keep it here. There goes Oliver and Isaac and Tanner. Knights girls are gonna be without two starters tonight, both injured. Josie Flum with an ankle and Alina Mendoza with a leg injury. She told me she was going to the doctor tonight after school and hopefully it all turned out well for her. Haven't missed a call yet there, big dog. Doing good. Off the timeout, Blossom's ball in the corner. Inside to 32, puts it over the rim and Severson's there. Good pass, finish. And they do, nice pass, a little drop pass, a little bounce. A good catch too by Seth. Uh-oh, off his shin, and it's out of bounds. Fundamentals of basketball usually come back to haunt you. It's making the easy play. Fundamental play. Give and go again. Carroll just gets it to drop. Climbs over the rim. That's a good pass by Padre. Knights defense, after giving a few offensive rebounds up early, done a pretty good job. And they're jumping to the ball well, finally. They're getting caught on that screen. Here's a chance, ooh, Derek helped it nicely. Inside, number five, and there was a breakdown there. He got caught up on that screen. Just gotta go under it. They're not looking to shoot that deep of three. Inside to Podreg, turn and face. Kick out, Severson. Severson, couldn't get that. He gets his own rebound. Severson, oh, he missed it. Gets it back again, and he gets that one. Two offensive rebounds, pad and stats. Uh-oh, here's Seth off the shin, and he gets it. Oh, take a middle. Inside to Derek. Severson, little jump hook, no good. Rebounded by Jaden, kicked out. Bizna, shoot that. Second foul on Blooming Prairie. That's the time to shoot that on an offensive rebound, catch and shoot from the top of the key. Junior Torres will enter for Kenyon Wanamingo. Ah, Seth 
Goff ended up with it. Puts it up left hand, no good. Oh, get up, Seth, get up. That one's no good. Offensive rebound, though. Swung around. Three ball, that one's butter. That's at least seven points for number one. Severson on a heater, baby. Knocked away, Junior with it. Two on one, make a good choice. Good job. Ah. Don't force it, just don't force the ball. Good minutes there by Derek and Seth. Nobody moving, finally Torres gets open. Put it up. And yeah, he's going to go to the line. You going to do it? Hey, say hi to the camera, Eli. boy. Eli's going to take over camera. He must have thought I wasn't doing very good. Missed that one. Carson with a good board. Put it up. Junior with it. Step through. Can't finish. 14 with the board. Excuse me. Knight sticking with man. It's something they haven't played much this year. They've been playing that 3-2 zone. Here's a cut and a finish. And again, we get hung up on that screen at the top of the key. Go under the screen. They, they've shot four threes. Which is not a lot, by the way. Rip and go. We got to get a reversal now. 30-second timeout called by Coach Amphison. We'll be back after these messages. Hey, I'm Ben Short, and you're watching The Man in the Can. Well, it's Saturday the night, and I just got paid. Pull up by my money, don't try to save. My heart say go, go. Have a time for Saturday night. Now I'm feeling fine. I'm on a rock it up. Look and feel your best with the help of all the buzz, salon and spa. Back here, Knight's ball on the inbounds. Looking to free up Griffin Bakken. And they play defense pretty well on that, so they'll just swing it. You gotta get it over here fully. Five defenders on that side of the court. Hadeen puts it on the deck. Somehow got to the rim, gets his own board, got fouled. He'll go to the line. Jackson Hadeen will step to the line. See if I can find. Uh... There's Jackson. Little touch here, buddy. Little touch. Get that back spin, get the ball high. That one's to the left. And can't get it. Junior mistimed his jump, but it ended up uh, being perfect. Griffin Bakken, oldest of three kids. See his little sister May is here. Severson has been shooting it well, but too many steps to be before he dribbled. That's all right. That's all right. Be fundamental, right, Eli? Just be fundamental. And one got bumped. That's a good call. 
Knights are saying, we, we didn't touch him. Well, you got him with the body. That's a good call. what this uh, angle of the hoop looks like. Yeah, I gotta go change it at halftime. So he gets one out of two to make an 11 point game and this is another, it's happened a couple times tonight where we just kind of stare down the pass. Knights are four. Oh, they do not end up with it. Under two minutes of your first half C Squad game. Knights have played pretty well. Derek Severson with a big spark off the bench. I think he had 10 points there when he was in. Now he's back in again. Number one forced that one up. 14 with the board. Can't get it. Number one, another chance. Ooh, I'm gonna call it on the ground. I thought he was shooting. Jackson almost had it. 32, that's the same play. They've ran that about four or five times now. In and out. Hey, how you doing? Oh, he missed it. Missed it again. He got bumped there. And he gets that one to go. Fundamentals, Eli. We don't need the between the legs dribble. Fundamental. He converted on the old three-point play. Knights need an answer. Dragged his pivot foot. Knights have lost the momentum a little bit here. The Blossoms are made this a game. And another offensive board. Nice to be, Knights just need to be more aggressive here. Seth tried to throw it off the Blossoms player, but he was already out of bounds. Up to 32, come on boys, same thing every time. Good back cut by one. A nice block by Jaden. He gets it back, puts it up, and the Knights will take the eight-point advantage into the halftime break. I'm going to go and fix the camera. You're going to go and get a refreshment, and we'll see you back here in about five minutes.
We're back, baby. Halftime's over. Knights up eight. C squad game. <clears throat> Knights can't convert first possession. Knights need to answer here. Slow that momentum down by the Blossoms. Trying to figure out what they want to do here. Got to keep moving. Jackson gets the roll. Jackson Hedin sneaking his way in. Here's Jaden. Number one hustling. Oh, he missed it. Seth, though, puts a tough turnaround fadeaway off the high glass. That one's deflected. Padraig's with it. Good pass. Good pass. I thought he might have waited a little too long, but it ended up actually working out. Now the Knights going in that zone. Another deflection. Inside, 21. We didn't rotate early enough. We got caught sleeping and watching on the backside, and we didn't rotate. And Coach Amphitson is letting him know about it. You got to rotate over. Team defense. Swing it. Swing it. Swing it. Spacing now, spacing. And I move it to the other side. Other side, move the defense. Ooh, we're lucky there. Go up with it. Jackson, 18-footer. Padraig, right place, right time. He crashes and puts it in. It's Padraig Visna. Knights with a good response here. After having their lead cut to six, they extend it now to 12. Tate Erlinson coming in the gym, 1,000-point score for the Knights. And uh, junior high baseball coach as well. There's Seth with a chance. He missed it. He had it. There's a swat away by Carroll. Well, they were trying to recover off of Jackson. Seth gets the steal. Knights in business. They're going to slow it down. Going Carolina. Carolina, they call. Carolina, oh, we've been running this for a long time. This back to when Coach Amphitson was playing. Here's Padraig. Go baseline. Spin baseline. Nice pass to Carson. Finish. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, it was hanging. It didn't want to drop. Inside, 14. Got bumped. Yeah, good call. Hip check on the Knights will be out of bounds. Luke Cordes is going to enter. Severson will also check in. Inside swatted away by Jaden right to Derek. Good jump stop by Derek. That's a good choice. Go in control. Be in control. Ooh. Sometimes we try to do things a little quicker than what we should be doing and we get ourselves in a tough spot. Inside the Padre. Ooh, two guys cutting to the same spot. Yep, spin that way. Left-handed! The left hand. Yeah. 
And now this defense is starting to get to the Blossoms. Knocked away by Padre. Right to one. Keeps it alive. Nice pass. Good high low. Oh, he missed a bunny. He missed it again. He has the third one. Great high low. Number 14 really setting him up for that one. Unfortunately, 14 will not get the uh, assist. Here's a steal, but we've got a foul in the open court. Second foul on the Knights. See if the Knights talked about this adjustment. We got hung up on the screen. Ooh, we got lucky. Seth helped. Inside, we got hung up again. Good touch by Jaden. And we get a foul. If that corner defender, the guy who's guarding the corner, can just kind of sit by the block. I don't think they've taken a corner three yet. Sit by the block. Gets that one, one for two. Derek, a high archer. Jaden's got it. Up to Seth. Nice pass. That's the right play in defense transition there. Tip that thing from behind and get your defense to reset. Good lead pass. He led him right into that. Goes up, gets hit. Can't get the roll. That pass led him right into that. If that pass would have been on the back side, it would have been a steal. <clears throat> Two shots for Padraig. Padraig's played a calm game. In and out. Padraig's been under control today. 12-point game coming to close to 10 minutes here. Knocked away by Seth. Make a good choice here. Underneath to Jaden. And Jaden puts it off the window. Get it to drop. Seth splits the D, hangs in the air, and kisses it off the glass. The Bill Raftery with a little kiss. Jaden intercepting. Jaden attacks hard. Kick out. Severson. Ring it up. Hey! Yeah. 
see if I got Derek. There's Derek. Twenty-four, top of the key is banked. <laughs> Drive through is open. Padre goes by. Finish now, kid. Finish. Ah. Trey Watkins enters for the first time. Junior Torres is back in. We've got a timeout called by the Blossoms. We'll be back. Night's up by 14. Hola, me llamo Senora Bauer y ustedes están mirando la canal de las actividades de los caballeros. Vamos, caballeros. Holy cow. Bombay Dairy is celebrating their 25th year of service. With 15 employees, Bombay Dairy provides milk for all of America by milking over 700 head of Holsteins. The Lechfolds and all of Bombay Dairy are proud to support Kenya Wanamingo activities. You can contact them at 507-210-7561. Do you got milk? Yeah, the Lexfold Wrestling Crew I hosted a uh, youth tournament this weekend here at the castle. 518 youth wrestlers in the building. And I told Coach Lexfold, I said, you keep all those wrestlers out of the can desk. <laughs> you know, I was in wrestling once. Third grade, I was, I was a large third grader. I had to wrestle sixth graders. I spent most of my time counting Counting ceiling lights. Here we go, Knights in a 1 4 low look. And nothing there. Right to him. Here's Watkins. Sides the drive. Inside to Junior. Nice pass and finish. Trey to Junior. Two points. Here's a Trey. Got it. They needed that. They needed that. 13-point game. Still plenty of time for them to get back in it. But if the Knights keep making good choices, it could be difficult. They might have to kind of crank their defensive pressure up a bit. Torres all the way to the layup. Lays it up. Can't get it. Tor oh, Watkins slapped it out of bounds. Check out our Instagram page. Inside the Laird, you can see Trey. He'll teach you how to make a cheesecake. Check that out. Open three, top of the key, it's no good. Who's gonna get it? It's Junior. And the Blooming Prairie faithful yelling at their players to rebound. Little handoff, Severson had it stripped. Good hands, pesky hands by number 12. Trey, he's got some quick bounce off his feet. Real, af real athletic defender. He got hung up on that screen. Padraig sees it. Number two shoots it. It's short. Trey with the board. Make a good choice. Make a good choice. Slow down here, kid. And he goes around the defense and gets hung up on a foul on number three. Second team foul for the Blossoms. William Garcia will replace Derek Severson. Got to get a reversal now. Okay, we haven't got anything over here. Swing it. Swing it one more. One more. One more. Swing the ball. Move it. Trey to the rim. Got fouled, and he's going to the line. Trey Watkins. New to our school this year. Got a sister, I think. I don't know. Was she in eighth grade, Eli? Talia? She's on the competitive cheer team. Just wrapped up their season last weekend. They're going to be uh, this Friday at the Wanamingo, I shouldn't say Wanamingo, Kenyon Wanamingo Elementary School. 5.30 on Friday.
Friday. And uh, both the elementary and varsity programs will be having a showcase for the community come, to come and watch. So if you're not doing anything Friday, maybe you're not going to the Hayfield games, you can go and support the competitive cheer team. And we've got a bump. Torres with the bump. Fourth foul on the Knights. There's that curl. We got hung up again. Jaden sees it, but he's going to pick up the foul because uh, we are not jumping to the ball. Jump to the ball, go under the screen. Otherwise, that's what happens. So number one, we'll toe the line. Short on that one. Dylan Craig is in the building. He's ready to run the shot clock. He's been doing it all year. Done a great job. I wonder what happens there. Torres just flips it up. Kind of was careless with that shot. And Knights turn it over. Backcourt violation. Tried to do too much there. Wrap around one-handed pass. Coach always told us, don't never pass with one hand. Never catch with one hand. Never leave your feet to pass. Uh-oh, that one's just thrown out of bounds. Knights will have a couple subs. It's Hedin and Aldorfer. Spacing. We're all kind of just running to the ball here. Spacing. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's one of the worst things you can do is just kind of run around towards the ball. Anything else would be better than that. Trey now coming in. Make a good choice. He's quick. Puts it up. Here's a deep shot, no good. Who's gonna get it? Come on, William. Number one gets it. Nice bounce pass. Got the foul. Trey will pick it up. 33 will head to the free throw line. You don't see that one all the time. Off the armpit of the backboard and the rim, somehow got it to drop. Spacing, spacing. Skip pass. Uh-oh. That one's over to the player in the Vikings sweatshirt. Carson will come back in. That one's blocked by Seth. He's got a couple of those. 
Trey, make a good choice. There you go. Carson, toe was on the line. Up ahead and out of bounds. Approaching three minutes left in this first game of our triple header between the Blossoms and the Knights. Both on the east side of the Gopher Conference. Inside Carson. Now ah, you got triple team. Kick that out. Come on, Jax. Come on, Jax. Keep your eyes up. Trying to do too much. Again, make the easy play, boys. Make the easy play. Get a dollar every time I said that. Be retired. Back cut. Back cut. Come on, all the way. There you go. With a wrap around Seth's there. And he'll just pull it back. Up ahead to Carson. Junior should have just camped in the, on the block down there. William, three. It's short, or excuse me, long. Seth will pick up the foul, and that'll put them at the line. Number 12 will shoot. Got to thank my mom. My mom brought my girls to piano lessons for me tonight so I could come and broadcast the early game. Otherwise, you'd have to listen to Eli. Eli's got a lot to say. You, know, you don't want to do that? No. <laughs> Use the free throw. It's good. Timberwolves are at the thunder tonight, Eli. Offensive board gives him an extra chance. 24 steps through and gets it. Knights got to be careful. Only nine point game, two minutes left. Griffin Bakken is in the game. Luke Cordes checked in. Nobody helped him out. Here's Carson, pump fake. Might have traveled, no call. Griffin loads up, short. Junior had it blocked. That one's too high, Junior intercepts it. Coach Belke says slow it down. Brady says run some five out pass and cut. You got to anticipate them being a little more aggressive here. This back cut should be open. Luke Cordes from the block kick out, but that's right to the bench. And Griffin was thinking he was going to move, and Luke didn't get the message. Side to 14. No shot. He got pushed before. He'll be a one and one bonus opportunity.
trying to make it a seven point game. Luke with the board. Up ahead to Griffin. Oh, off the defender. He's got to put a little more air under that. And Coach Amphitson saying, hey, situation is we really don't need that. Clock's in our favor. Probably should have been a, a turnover, but. And he traveled. Knight's got to make another stand here. Make a stand, you pretty much end it. Uh-oh, and they're going to give up a layup. Still a game, and we're going to have a 30-second timeout. We'll be back. You're watching the Knights. They're up by six. 36 seconds left. I'm Dylan Bartell, and you're watching the can. Busby's Hardware and Furniture in downtown Zimbroda is your place to shop for your general hardware needs. They carry the top of the name brands like reliable Milwaukee and DeWalt power tools and beautiful Valspar paint. Their furniture department also offers all types of furniture, lamps and mattresses, with over three floors of selections to choose from. In need of new appliances? Well, they have that too. They are a proud Whirlpool dealer and they offer a Mana, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Whirlpool appliances from freezers, microwaves, refrigerators, and more. Plus, with their very own delivery truck, Busby's offers delivery of appliances and furniture. Busby's excellent customer service and friendly staff are what separate them from their competitors. Knight's ball. They can run the baseline. Going deep, baseball pass. Jaden puts it in. And one. Visna dropping back like Montana. Eli probably doesn't know who Montana is. Eli, you don't know who Joe Montana is? <laughs> Here's Jaden trying to get three point old fashioned way. Ooh, not much backspin on that one. Here they come, eight point game, 30 seconds. They need a quick shot and a timeout. Here's the shot. Got it. Nope, they're not going to take timeout. They're going to let the ball bounce around. They had two timeouts left. This one's up. The Padres swatted away. Ten seconds left. And out of bounds. A lot of precious time ticked away there. They had two timeouts left. I think the coach is telling himself probably should have had a timeout there. He'll learn from that. Unfortunately for them, oh no, it's whose ball is it here? Blooming Prairie ball. They need a quick one. Open three. It's short or long, whatever, off the mark. The Knights are going to escape with a 45-51 victory over the Blossoms to start the evening. C-Squad picks up the win. I want to thank Eli for running the camera that half. Appreciate his help. And we'll get set for the JV match. I will have to uh, go get a roster. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Knights.
testing test. JV game underway. Kyle Vukulich jumping for Kenny Warnamingo. And it's the Blossoms who have it. On the court for KW, Vukulich. Shot clock did not reset or something like that. I don't know what happened. All right, they got it set up now. 23 seconds left on the shot clock. I don't think they had it plugged in in the back. Vukulic with a steal. They slow it down. Isaac Hadeen's on the court. Ross Aldorfer, Oliver Bauer, Jack Vierling, and Kyle Vukulic. It's inside to Bauer. No bounce pass off of the knee of Hadeen. This is the right play. Well, not the turnover part, but you know what I mean. Glitch with another deflection. He's been active early. I'm surprised my JV sidekick hasn't shown up yet. Owen Craig saw him here. I don't know where he went. Here's Hadeen from the top of the key. Little line drive ish. Get a little more arc next time. And they're in business. And he hipped it. Double dribble. That's a good call. That was number 11, Jack Bruns. Junior guard. Camera guy hasn't gotten here yet either. He must be hitting the concession stand before he gets ready. Inside to Bauer. Good catch. Puts it up. Might have had it tipped. Jump ball. Staying with KW. <clears throat> I want to see Oliver power that up. Tried to finesse that shot. Power that baby up. Into, all, into Ross. Isaac open again. That was a better arc. Just off the heel. Here he comes. Three on one, let's see if 11 makes a good choice. Ross with a steal off the Veerling deflection. And now Bruns will pick up the frustration foul. <laughs> Veteran crew here tonight. These guys have been reffing for over a decade. Veerling attacks. Couldn't finish. Now they've got a five on four. That one's no good. Bauer with the rebound. Had it poked away. He was got it. Oliver does. Vukulich up to Ross. Just a fun name, Vukulich. Here's Veerling. Bauer from the corner pocket. Can't get it. Don't foul. Don't foul. Play without fouling. Jack to Eli. No, Isaac, rather. He finishes with the left hand. Tanner stands up. I like that. I like that. Uh oh, off the back of the offensive player. That was number four, Cole Wangen. And we've got a 30-second timeout called by the Blossoms. We'll be back after these messages. I'm Bill Miller, and this is RJ. You're watching the Knights on YouTube. Go Knights. What I really love about Ellington is being family-owned. Everybody knows everybody, and you feel like you're, you're always part of the team. We work in Hawaii, Alaska, all over the place. Seeing something different, hanging with the guys, you really get to know everybody a lot more. There's always room to grow here. If you want to move up, the opportunity are here. They, they do what they say. They say what they do. They strive to do the best. 
You have a lot of passion. It was a good fit for me and my family, and I look forward to coming to work every day. Thank you, Ellingson Companies, for sponsoring the stream again. You got to get back to the camera. Inside, I think it was Oliver. I was a little distracted there. I don't know where, Tanya, I don't know where all, uh, Owen is. I saw him come into the gym, but, oh, there he is. He's up in the stands watching the game, talking to Jason Hedin. He loves coming on the mic. Here's Isaac. Good hustle there. Oh, he lost hand. Oh, Ross with a SWAT. SWAT team's out tonight. Oh, and then we just give it right back. Handles, handles, handles. You want to help? You eat that first. Yeah, you enjoy that first, then you can help out. How about that? Well, Jackson Hadeen's supposed to be here, but I don't see him, so you might have to just... Oh, he's doing scoreboard over there. You might need to just help out for this game. You eat your pizza first. Get past Jaden Carroll with the knockaway, but right to the offensive player. Ross blocks another one. It's a block party tonight for Aldorfer. Cortez inside to Bauer. Skip pass to Jaden. Come on, finish now. One time. He does. Nice job staying under control by the Knights. Now they're playing that zone D again. Oliver with a steal. Aldorfer kicks it out. Inside to Kyle. Power that up. Carroll, right spot again. He puts it off the board. We've got a timeout called by the Blossoms. Full timeout. Knights are up 8-0. We'll be back. I'm Rachel, and you're watching the Knights on YouTube. The Fairbold Hockey Association is excited to sponsor the CAN, and they want you to know there is an opportunity to play hockey for both boys and girls in grades pre-K through ninth grade. They believe that life skills such as teamwork and sportsmanship can be taught through the game of hockey, along with staying mentally and physically fit. If you've heard over the years that hockey is too expensive, well think again. They offer rental gear and there are huge discounts for new families. If you are wanting to introduce your child to hockey, simply go to www.fairbowlhockey.com where you can see their pricing and schedules. The association also hosts open skates for families throughout the year at the Fairbowl Ice Arena, which is located on the fairgrounds next to Bruce Smith Field. Consider registering your child for hockey today. Fairbowl Hockey Association, thank you for sponsoring the stream. And now, oh, we've got Owen Craig joining us. Owen, you smell a lot better than last time. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> last time you came in, smelled like wood fire. It's true, I do remember that now. There's some fresh deodorant on, too. Hey, I like that. Your mom said that she hasn't eaten supper this early because you had to get to the can. 
I'm a good kid every once in a while. I make my mom, my family, I should say, okay. food. I didn't buy it. Well, though. it's easier now that Dylan has moved out. Yeah, he, he usually ate it all. Hey, Oliver, ring it up. Corner pocket triple. I see his grandparents, John and Jackie, down in the middle of the stands with a nice tan. Oliver gets that steal. Move the ball, move it with a pass. Aldorfer sets up, too strong. Uh oh, Ooh. here's a long three. Aldorfer just reaches over everybody on. Well, it's pretty easy to do that when your arms are really uh, long. Really long. <laughs> Inside to Bauer. He likes to kind of shoot that hook, but he used his dribble up there. Inside to Ross. Ross goes baseline and lays it in. There he is, Ross Aldorfer. The Blossoms, they got to get on the board here. Can't let this get any bigger. Zone defense continuing for Kenyon Wanamingo. Turnaround jumper from the elbow is no good. Carroll with the board. Now the Knights, let's see what they do here. They're flatten the defense, get them all down by the baseline. Swing the ball, swing it. Ah, oh, we didn't double screen. Nice pass, little bounce pass, ain't good! Jaden Carroll. Jaden with a nice absorption of the, this absor absorption, yeah. absorbed that, the contact. Yeah, that worked. Off the pass, who passed that? That was sweet. You don't know? No, I wasn't paying attention that much. But good for Jaden. He usually doesn't get into the JV game this early and making a statement. Mm hmm Telling Coach Amphison, play me more. That's how you get more minutes. Ross, three ball, bottom of the barrel. Knocked away by Jaden. Little drive, little shot blocked by Ross. Go, go, gadget arm. <laughs> I've used that one last week. You did. Oh, and they couldn't get it. Beerling will replace Carroll. The Bauer, go right up with it. Nice move. There's that good hook shot that you were just talking about. I think I just called that one, didn't I? You did. Here's a three. It's short. Offensive board. Ross is there again. I he's, think like, he's, he's probably got four blocks already. Like Stretch Armstrong out there. <laughs> you probably don't know who that is. I, I don't, but. You don't know Stretch am, am Armstrong? Am I supposed to know? It's a classic toy, Should man. I, oh. Probably from your days. Classic. Oliver, corner pocket again, no good. Jack's trying to get, he saves it. Make a good pass. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kyle comes back in. Talking Jayden. about this one here? Yep. <laughs> Where you just grab onto the arm and it just stretches. Like that. Yep. <laughs> Knocked away. Kyle has it. He's going to get fouled. 22. That's Bradley Boyd. Sophomore guard picking up the foul. That's the third on Blooming Prairie. Young Abasai Cortez just played a game. How'd you guys do? Says they did well on the camera tonight. Seventh grader. Kyle dribbles through. Oh, might have got away with a. Uh, nope, he didn't get away with a carry. 
I don't know where Jackson is tonight. I was just up talking to Stomp, and he didn't even know. I guess he's out running the eighth grade scoreboard. Oh, gotcha. That was a smart decision right there by 15. He knew he was by the timeline and let it go back before he went and got it. Knocked away by Isaac Knights. A real, real aggressive on defense here. Rotate. We didn't rotate soon enough. We got lucky. Offensive board. That was Carter Bishop. And they finally get on the board. It's Cole Wangen. They went over nine minutes without scoring in to start this game, and now they get a potential steal, but Kyle has it. Nice pass to Jack. Threaded the needle. That was good by Jack there to make his make himself uh, available. Yeah. That was that was good that was good analysis right there, one. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's not my first rodeo. Okay, here. okay. <laughs> Deep three. No good. That was Karsten. Ingvelson. Cortez, long one. Yeah. See those long ones, you can get those anytime. You know what I mean? Yeah. 23 seconds on the shot clock. Run some clock. See if we can get something closer. And then if you need to throw that up, go for it. I couldn't have said it better. Left hand drives into three guys, and he gets it! Andre flips it up, gets the roll, going to the line. Everything bouncing KW's way right now. And he squishes that one. Good for Andre, he just missed a, a deep ball and drives right back into the lane and throws one up in between three guys and gets it. Inside, that was a good pass, make an extra one. Bishop shot one goal, but the hustle by Cole Wang and keeps it alive and he puts it in. Stay under control here, nice. Oh, nice move, a little lefty flip up, couldn't get it. Kyle blocks one. Kyle skied up there. He can get up there too and block, block Oop, a lot of shots. Uh, see how we were, see what I'm saying? Staying in control. We were going a little faster than we were comfortable with. And that's when mistakes happen. Yeah. How high can you jump, Owen? Um, not very. Kenyon phone book? Uh, probably. <laughs> I can barely touch the net. Well, you're not the tallest guy out there, so that's got to be decent vertical. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it runs in the family to not not be very tall. Coach Amphison tells Ross to sub in. I don't know if he's subbing in for Isaac, but Isaac is kind of letting that last possession where he turned it over. He wasn't in position to play defense. Letting that affect you how you play D, that ain't how you do it. And he's going to come out. It's like a hitter who strikes out and then goes and plays D and he brings his at bat with him. You just got to let that go. Another offensive rebound. They're starting to pound the glass here. That shot by Bishop, no good. Another offensive board. Mm -hmm. Good pass. Good shot. That was Bradley Boyd. And he, the, 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 the initial was the, uh, Bishop who got the assist there, attacked a gap, drew two defenders, kicked it out to an open shooter. Textbook. Uh-huh. Bauer, oh yeah, nice footwork, gets fouled. That'll send Big O to the free throw line. And he gets that one to go. 
Oh, he didn't waste much time there. He got that ball and just fired it up, didn't he? Yes. I wasn't even ready for it. Or did, he must have went through his routine. I don't think so. That was quick. Four minutes left, first half. Uh-oh. That's black ball. If you're just joining us, the Knights held the Blossoms to no points for the first nine minutes. Jaden kicks. Oh, this is the right idea, but I think the better play there, kick out Ross. See Ross wide open in the corner? No, I did not. I was watching Jaden. Which one, you tell me, which would have been the easier pass? That little dump off to Oliver or the wide open three? Probably a wide open Make three. Make the easy play, right? Inside, Bishop had it knocked away by Ross. Ooh, tough shot. It was contested. I saw him, he was working on some, some handles and some fadeaway shots from 15 feet away before the game. Isaac's coming back in. Let's see if he was able to flush that, move on mentally. Good contest by Kyle. Slow down. Don't force it, don't force it. There you go. Uh, we need a reversal, swing the ball, swing it, swing it. Oh. That was not an easy what pass. What am I gonna say? Make the easy <laughs> pass. <laughs> right. Knocked away by Jack, right to Isaac. Side to Oliver. Make a move. Got one on one. Get out of there, Kyle. And there he goes. Kyle finally recognized, got out of there, created some space, and Oliver put it in. Oh. Go get it, Jack. Go get it, Jack. Oh, that's an over. Yep. You were right on it. I was there. You're going to be an official when you get older. No. Why not? What else are you going to do? I want, um, if I'm being honest with you, I want to be just like you. No, I'm joking. That's the last thing I want to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. <laughs> well, it's getting close every day. It is getting closer every day. One more year, and you're senior. Like senior only has four weeks, four months left. That's fine with me. <laughs> Here's Isaac. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot that. Here he comes. Here's a better shot. Oh, oh, pull that. Pull that. Oh, look at the move. Coach for the Blossoms wanted to travel. You know why it wasn't? Why is that? Because they didn't call it. Whoa. It's all right. Go get it. You're all right. Go get it. Oh, I thought it was off the inbound. So the Knights defense will reset. Blossoms are trying to get some momentum before halftime. Down by 19. I think Isaac's a little skeptical about shooting his, his three-point shot. He's a... Uh, He's been struggling for a little bit now. And new day. It's a new chance. It's true. Every shot. You know what they say. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's what I was going to say. There's Isaac. Here he is. Uh-oh. And that should be over and back. If 
Isaac could go replay that. Just keep your dribble alive. You know, don't pick it up. Just keep it alive. Coach would always say, don't pick your dribble up unless you're going to pass or shoot. There's Jack. Got his hand on it. Veerling. Oh, tough. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, then we kind of fought for the ball and we knock it out of bounds. So Jack tried to avoid the contact there, right? Tried to make that circus shot and just go up with a layup and take the contact, go to the line. Ah! Open look. This is number 15, Ingleson. It's going to be a foul on the Blossoms. That's number six on them. And that's the second on Bradley Boyd. He's going to take a seat. Make the easy pass. Mm. I think they might have been trying to go with two for one there. As there was 10 seconds in between the shot clock and game clock. But now they just now just run good offense. Yeah, now you might as well just take it down to the 10 seconds. Yeah. If you get a good shot, go for it. They're going to have a, a chance anyways. Strong with it. Chin the ball. Chin it. Here's a shot. Jaden doesn't hesitate. No good. Bauer right there. And he got fouled. Offensive rebound leading to second chance points. I think Jaden could have maybe took a little more time on that shot, set his feet just a little better because there wasn't anybody within eight feet of him. Oliver gets the first one to go. Let's see if he goes back to that, that quick shot again. Right, one play, straight up, guys. One. Oh, routine here. Gets the second one to go. Uh huh. He's up to 12. Knights are going to trap. 20 seconds left. They have fun, a bunch of fouls to give, only two team fouls. Bauer with the board. They have a chance. I think if you're the Knights, you keep letting them shoot it. They've been struggling. I think they've only made one. Couple of... A couple of questionable shot decisions, one by each team there. Is they each had a chance to get the last shot, and they didn't take it. Yeah. So the Knights will take the 21-point halftime lead. Overall, a pretty great half for the Knights. We're going to take a break. Halftime, five minutes. We'll be back. Hey, I'm RJ Hodgman. You're watching The Can. Plymouth, built to exacting standards, built for punishment, day in, day out, whatever the world dishes out, performance tested until it's people ready, keeping every joint, every leg, every surface tough. Plymold, ingeniously solving problems, dedicated to delivering the product you need where and when you need it. Balancing design, function, durability, and value. Every kind of client, spanning dozens of industries and applications. Built with pride. Pride in craft. Pride in employee ownership. Pride in a product that people around the world have relied on every day for over 70 years. All built right here in the USA. 
Plymold. Quality in everything we do. I'm Rich Kincaid, and you're watching The Can. Ken Seifert opened the hair place in 1985, and he's been serving clients in the Kenyan area ever since. His son Dylan joined in 2021, and together they offer hair cutting for men, women, and children, and hot towel shaves for men. They're open Tuesday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30, and Saturday from 8 to 3, and walk-ins are always welcome. You can call 507-789 5899 to schedule your next haircut or shave. The Hair Place, lowering your ears for 38 years. I'm Butch Lindell and you're watching The Man on the Can. Formerly known as Farmer State Bank, Heritage Bank expanded to three locations in 2019 with branches in Denison, West Concord, and Northfield. When you bank at Heritage, rest assured they have a vested interest in you and your community. Being family owned and operated, they live and work in the communities they serve. The faces you see are committed to meeting your needs and earning your trust. They value their partnership with you. Your family's financial future is as important to them as it is to you. And they are dedicated to providing products and services tailored to meet your needs. Check out HeritageBankMN.com to see all that Heritage Bank has to offer. I'm Siri Kwam and you're watching The Can. Her family lost the farm due to the financial. Holly Burrow grew up on a farm in Lake City, but when she was just 10 years old, her family lost the farm due to the financial crisis in the 1980s. From that point forward, she knew she wanted to find a way to help farmers. She graduated from River Falls with a degree in ag business, and after working numerous jobs in ag production and medical research, she wanted to get into accounting and specialize in farm tax. So, she purchased a building in downtown West Concord and opened her own practice in 2015. She's been assisting her clients in payroll, nonprofit, audits, and tax returns ever since. New clients can call 507 527 2898, and her office manager and husband Jeff will help you get set up with Holly J. Burrow, the CPA. I'm Mackenzie Moore, and you're watching The Can. JB's Tavern is happy to sponsor The Can again this year. And if you're looking for a good spot with good food to watch the game, JB's Tavern in downtown Wanamingo always has the game on the big screen. They're open Tuesday through Sunday for lunch and dinner, and you can dine in or take out. Scan the QR code now to check out their menu. JB's is offering game day food specials one hour before and during all Viking games this season. But that's not all. They're even giving away sports memorabilia during all Vikings games. They gave away a signed Justin Jefferson jersey week one. Entries start one hour before kickoff, and the winner will be drawn immediately after the game, and you must be present to win. JB's Tavern, your place to watch the game. Back here, Kenyon Wanamingo High School, JV halftime is over. And the Knights enjoying a 21 point lead. Jaden Carroll, his night is done. Three halves are in the book. So Tanner Hadeen checks in. And they get the scoring started. Little turnaround mid ranger. Vukovic kick out, open three for Isaac. Good shot. Ain't gonna make everyone. No, that was, this is the right shot to take. Nice pass. Open three, it's banked in. Jack runs. The bank is always open. Uh-huh. Now they increase their pressure. It's quickly a 16 point game and a steal. Jack 
Jack, see Tanner. Jack's got to take one more dribble and get both hands on the ball. You know what I mean? Instead of firing that. Should have just made a little bounce pass, taking bounce him right pass, into yeah. it. Instead, he had to really reach out far. Jack's just getting deflection after deflection here. We say in school, we say that he's the uh, best on-ball defender around. Oh. And they hit another one. That's Carter Bishop. It's all of a sudden a 14-point game. Blooming Perry right in this again. Make a good choice. Eyes up. Oh, and he's going to go to the line. Tanner will get his first shot attempt. That was a good job by Isaac as Isaac was cutting through. And then Tanner decided to dribble. And Isaac just stopped his cut and got out of there and created some space. If Isaac would have, or sorry, if Tanner would have maybe seen Isaac cutting to the left side, maybe Tanner could have went, went to the right mm -hmm. and used, used Isaac as a little shield kind of blocker, yeah. Hey, Tanner. Couldn't he's, make the free throws, but he hits the three. He's been hot from back there the last few games. There's a shot by Wangen. Tracked down by the Blossoms, and Coach Amphison's not happy. Understandably. I think Go Bloom, get the ball. Effort. Bloom and Perry's got probably got, I don't know, maybe half of their points off the second chance off second chance shots. Opportunities. That one is butter. Bradley Boyd. A sophomore. He's got six. Right on cue right there. The Wang and shot that three and he airballed it and it went out of bounds and they came right back and sunk a three. Uh-oh, here's Bruns, he converts. Knights might need a timeout here soon. And he traveled. This really shows what a full court press will, will do, to a, do to an offense here. Really cause him to be, How does it rush? Be baffled. It baffles you. You like that word? Kind of like you in math class? Oh, yeah. Or, <laughs> I'm or, kidding. Or all I'm my kidding. classes. <laughs> all my classes, usually. Uh, hey, you set yourself up for that one. Well, I mean. I understand what you meant. Shooters got to shoot, and you took your shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have done that to you. I feel bad. No, no. Your mom's at home just She's probably rolling her eyes. <laughs> she knows. Yeah, I'm sure she does. <laughs> Short. Knights dodge a bullet there, but they get the rebound. Scrapping Tanner ball. saves it to Oliver. Oliver splits the defense. And the Jack. Kick it out. An open look for Isaac. Boy, Oliver. Ooh, Kyle, nice job. Kick out, kick out, kick out. Slow down, reset. Ten seconds though. Do we recognize anybody telling him on the bench? Three seconds. Oh, no rim. And a violation. 12 minutes left. Oh, I'm getting a text from your mom right now. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing, she said. We're going to have a timeout call by the Knights. They're up by 12, but Blooming Prairie has all the momentum. We'll be back in a little bit. I'm Rudy, and you are watching the can. 
Hey, looking to start a project? Swing on down to Kenyon Ace Hardware where you will find all your big name brands. Shop their selections of steel equipment, DeWalt and Old Milwaukee Power Tools, and the Yeti brand. Or maybe you need to freshen up your home with a clean coat of paint. Are you sick of shoveling snow? Stop by to check out their snowblower inventory including Cub Cadet. Or maybe you are ready to think spring and need some Weber grill accessories or a riding lawnmower. Support Kenyon Ace Hardware today, located on Gunderson Boulevard in downtown Kenyon. I'm ready to think spring on, boy, today. It felt like spring today. I looked out my window this morning, you know, sun's coming up, and uh, there's like patches of snow, and I'm like, it feels like March 15th right now. Mm -hmm. I forgot what the sun looked like today when I woke up. I hadn't seen it in a while. You're, you're a guy that likes to stay up late, though, and get up late. I was sleeping by like 7.30 last night. Are you? Probably went skiing this weekend. No. Shoulda. I was ice fishing all day. Ice fishing? There ain't no ice. Oh, God, there's plenty of ice. Here's a little short corner shot, and they get another rebound, and they're really pounding. Kyle gets it now. Keep going. Over to Kyle. Kyle attacks. Ooh. Gets his own rebound. Right to Jack. Kick it out. Kick it out. Kick it out. Another offensive rebound. Kick out. Bang it. Oh, I thought they were going to go for it. Here's Tanner. He got it. That's what I was telling him, trying to tell him to do a little earlier than that. Ah. Only the first foul on Jack. Yeah, that's good. He's been he's been struggling lately with getting fouls called on him. He's been in foul trouble the last last two games for sure. Good trap here. Oh, he didn't rotate ah. over. Don't foul. This is Wangin. Space the floor, space the floor. One more to the corner, one more. Inside, nice job. Make a move. Cut. Oh. Got hit in the nose, it looks oh, like. Oh yeah, right to the face. Caught a shoulder right to the face. Those are one of those, uh, you know when you get hit hard in the nose and you instantly like tear up? Those are tough to absorb without having your eyes tear up. It's just a natural reaction. Yeah. Here's Bauer, the screen by Hadeen, frees him up. He buries it. Good execution there. That was nice. Simple little play, but they made the most of it. Now they got to attack, attack. Tough shot. Thought he should have just dropped that off for a layup. Yeah, would have been a little, a little better. Kick out, oops. A little late on that kick out. That was the right idea. It's flying in. Ingvelsen. Come on. Uh oh. Looks like foul. Yeah. Yep. Wangen's going to pick up a foul. That's the fourth on him. Team third. They're getting a sub. That's uh, Wyatt Raftall, freshman. And we've got a timeout called by BP after the Bauer layup. We'll be back. Knights are up by 16. I'm Logan Carroll, and you're watching the Knights Activity Network. Located on the corner of 2nd Street and Red Wing Avenue, the Kenyon Muni is proud to support Kenny Wanamingo Schools. Did you know that a portion of the Kenyon Muni's profit goes to the city's general fund to help defer costs on other city entities, such as the swimming pool and general maintenance? The Kenyon Muni offers food and beverage seven days a week. Visit their location in downtown Kenyon to enjoy pizza and appetizers while watching the nights on the big screen. Pizza and appetizers, that sounds good right about now, but you did make food tonight. What'd you make? 
Made some hot dogs. Hot dogs and beans. That's what Tanya requested. So You make them like you cut them up into the beans? No, no, no. No. Okay. Hot, hot dogs on the grill. Okay. Can't go wrong with that. Hey, boys, make sure whatever you're saying is appropriate because they can hear you, all right? Um, my daughter, my daughter likes the mac and cheese and hot dog, cut up. That is, that, that's bussin'. 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 You ever use that word? No, you've heard, I've heard it. My dad likes that word. Your dad's also hip, he's into all that I stuff. I wouldn't quite say he's hip. He's not hip and trendy like you. No? No. That's Cap. Was it tipped? No, that's Cap. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about basketball. Know, you were I talking know. about other things. Lock in, Kirby. I am locked in. <laughs> Swatted away, but right to Tanner. Splits the D. Make a good choice here. Get it out of trouble. Open three by Isaac. It's just been a little left today, a little left. Oh, they've got numbers. No, he should have went up right away. He drew the foul, but he still should have went up. Remember what I told you defenders should do in those uh, odd man situations? Fake like you're going to get fake the ball like, and yep. then drop back, or fake like you're going to leave I, the ball and then go get it? I remembered that. You just... You rushed me. It was coming back to you? Yeah. Oh, Kyle gets the deflection and the steal, but right back to Bradley Boyd. Boyd drops it off. This is Bruns. Got his arm ripped off, I was going to say. They almost got away with it. That was a little late call. Tanner picks up the foul. This sends Jack Bruns to the line. Two relax. I hear some screaming from the other gym. I did must, hear that. Must be exciting over there. One play. Straight up, guys. Ball, offensive rebound, but Tanner strips it. Oh, and then he dribbles it from his back and gets up. Pretty impressive. Oliver, they've got numbers. The end to Isaac. Good defense there by number 12. That was Elliot Gimble. Nice finish. Bradley Boyd gets up a little high off the glass. Tanner, shot fake can go. Ooh, right idea. Just mis-executed it. And the old reverse is no good. Good job by Isaac right there getting yep. out of that. Tanner's already made two. Ooh, he thought it was in. He was running back. Dude did a little Steph Curry thing right there. Yep. Shoot it, turn and go. Open look, this is Ingvelson. He splashes it. And we've got a 30 second timeout, we'll be back. I'm Colton Steberg. sorry you have to listen to Kirby on the can. Are you like me and don't know how to do your own taxes? Well, Gary Bukta, CPA in downtown Kenyon, is staffed and ready to accept new clients. Longtime Kenyon residents Heidi Haugen and Angie Mills work at the firm, along with Gary and his son Jason. And Angela has been assisting Kenyon clients for over 20 years. So stop with the confusion and meet face to face with the local tax professionals at Gary Bukta CPA. Tax season is approaching it's almost February two days left in January and then it's February oh that means Valentine's Day I gotta get my wife something one time <laughs> Knights go 1-4 look I'll tell you that on the next break oh deep pass oh stripped anyways it was you know how on Valentine's Day in school they bring around carnations you can yeah. buy carnations or whatever <laughs> It was the end of the day, school was just letting out. And they were 
they did they had a whole bunch of carnations they said hey mr v you want any carnations i didn't have anything for my wife so i bought a dozen carnations for like 50 cents and my wife did not like that i mean 50 cents you can't pass that <laughs> you up can't that's, be, a, that's, that's a, a steal there's a thought that counts right oliver will go to the line that's better than nothing well I don't have time to go to a dinner or, you know, anything like that. Yeah, you're a busy guy. My dinner is concession food pizza. Usually. I, I like the nachos. Nachos and a bag of popcorn. Mm. Get your vegetable. No, no. I, oh, the corn. Yeah, the corn. I'm not a big vegetable kind of guy. Oh, if, he if missed you can't it. tell. Engelson had a bunny, he missed it. Derek Severson checked in. Uh oh, stealing the front court. Tanner just strips it. Says, give it back. You gotta have a good possession here. Get it to him, get it to him. Nice job of faking a pass to make one. Oliver, right hook, short. That's a good entry pass by Derek. Yep. I would have maybe liked it. It's the second sooner. Ooh. Engelson, he just made his last thri triple. That one's long. Up ahead to Cortez. The lefty goes back to his left, and he drops it. Oh, and then he slams it out of bounds. Yeah, I think <clears throat> Jack's probably, probably checking in for him. He needs to. He needs a minute or two. Yep. Can't get in your own head. Good catch. Kick it out, kick it out. There's a shot. Open triple is good by Bishop. 12 point game, that's 11 points, here's a steal. Uh oh, and it's gonna be a single digit game. Nope, sorry, only 10. You were giving me crap about my well, math. Well, I'm sorry. Jack pushes it, and he goes to the free throw line. That was a good take. Oh, now you gotta cash in. Yep. It's one thing to get the foul call, now you gotta cash in. Uh-oh. Got to get this one. Got to get the momentum back slowly. <clears throat> missed them both. Take away the opposite corner. Or opposite block, I should say. Engvilsen, short corner. It's too strong. Severson. Knights with four timeouts left. Fifth foul call, excuse me, sixth foul called on the Blossoms. I like the Blossoms uniforms. Got the Nike on the top. And they got the uh, just nice and clean look. Mm hmm. You know, the more they get new jerseys, the more they kind of go old school with them. I like the old school jerseys, though. Like for Legion, all wearing those jerseys. I like those ones. Yeah. Ten point game. Knights had it as high as his 21, I believe. Bauer catch and shoot three. And it's good. 
puts him to 22 now. Yeah, he's having a game. A couple threes, a few post-ups, a few late, uh, uh, free throws. Kind of been all over. Isaac with a good rotation. Oh, right back to him, though. Oh, he missed the bunny. Somehow there wasn't a tie-up. Knights have it. Kick out, kick out, kick out, kick out. Here he is. Hit that. Good shot, though. Tanner will pick up the foul. It's his second. Fifth Knights foul. <coughs> And skip passes right to the coach. And he wasn't ready to shoot. No. I think that's probably maybe two possessions in a row now for the Blossoms that they uh, threw the pass over um, over their uh, teammate and went out of bounds. Cut. Turn left. Very nice. Nice. Ooh. Good move, though. Yeah. It's a good job feeling out the defender and good hustle to get back down there. Tanner never assume a make. Now he throws a baseball pass up to Kyle. Foul. And yep, he'll reach around. You're not going to get that call if you're standing behind the offensive player. That'll send Vukulic to the free throw line. One and one opportunity. See if he can earn the bonus shot. No good. Drills it. Boyd now with 16. Back to a 10 point game. Mm -hmm. Run some clock, clock's starting to become your friend. Good oh, move. the old up and under, oh he missed it, Kyle flies in. One more, one more, one more. Bounce pass. Jack, take. nice take, good finish. Jack attack. Switching everything, Coach yells. Right to Jack. Jack's going to wisely slow it up. Know the time and score here, boys. Know the time and score. Layups and free throws. There's a layup. Can't finish. Oliver's there. And it's going to be on the floor, but he will go to the line for a bonus. Jim and Sue Belkier are in the house. I, I haven't that. seen them in a while. All right, bonus, one, one, play here. Bonus. I ate breakfast at one of their staples, Little Oscars, for the first time <laughs> this past weekend. What'd you get? I usually get the same thing at like every breakfast. Yeah. Like, what do they call them? The messy hash browns or the skillet or whatever that's called? Yeah, it's just some hat browns, some eggs, some... Yeah, mix some, it all up, yeah. some meat, some vegetables. I've only been there a couple times, too. First time I ate there was uh, last winter. Okay. Wangen puts it in. He's got six. Under control, under control. Knights have four timeouts if they get into trouble. Skip pass, that one's picked. Ball. And I don't understand why we're throwing that pass in this situation. Yeah. Less than two minutes, you're up by 12. Isaac will pick up the foul, that's number three on him. 
I got to ask, uh, you get your Royce Lewis autograph? I did. We'll talk about that later as the night's called timeout. We'll be back. I'm Gavin Johnson. You're watching the Knights on YouTube. Lifelong Wealth Advisors is a comprehensive financial planning firm that works with individuals and families to help provide clarity and purpose around their financial planning future. We've structured our entire business around advocating for our clients' best interests. Their input is really important. And I always tell clients, I don't want this to be my vision of what you think you should do. We need your feedback in terms of what's important, what your goals are, what your objectives, what you're passionate about, and come up with that plan together. Truly the best part of this business is sitting across from a client and just writing out their goals, their hopes, what they want with the future, because money is a tool to buy things. Sorry to cut that ad short. That was Lifelong Wealth Advisors in Arden Hills. Nice. Are in a good spot, 12 point lead, 145 left. Boyd tries to break down Isaac. Isaac stayed in front. Now the Knights, it's over and back. Yep, good call by Oakstead. Oakey! Eric Oakstead. Yes, we got Royce Lewis. I sat in line for over two hours, and I'm glad I did because that line grew about longer than, I don't know, what's a really long line? Jack loses it, out of bounds. Huh? I don't, I don't know. Like the lines on Black Friday? Never been. Yeah, me neither. Ooh. Here comes Wangin. Don't foul. Just make him earn it. Yeah, good job, Isaac, slowing down. Ooh. We don't need that pass. We got... Ooh. Risky, risky. Derek will go to the line. Derek had double digits in the C Squad game, really provided a spark. And he gets that one. He got them both. Bishop, he has carried the load, 19 points. No, that was mm. Boyd, excuse me, Bradley Boyd. Uh-oh, Jack's gonna go to the line, that'll be... Foul's called on 14. Connor Cook, freshman. 15. Oh, he called it on 15. 15, yep. Ingvelson. Jack buries it. Kyle grabs it. I thought he did. Got five seconds to get it over and they do. <clears throat> no, no, no. Ew, that was smart. Whoop, now he wants it. <laughs> Ingvelsen, three is in and out. Isaac was just trying to put the put the last Finishing nail in the touch. coffin. Finishing touch. Mm -hmm. They're just going to dribble it out. And the Knights JV got a little closer than they wanted to, but they held on, picking up the win. And they'll have uh, three days of practice before they get another chance at Hayfield on Friday. All right. Well, Owen, appreciate you being here again. Your mom enjoyed it. The people enjoyed it. As always. As always, that's right. We'll be back for the varsity game. 20 minutes of warm-up, and then we will uh, we will have the action. Undefeated Blooming Prairie in town tonight. You're watching the Knights on YouTube.
Hey, I'm Ben Short, and you're watching The Man in the Can. Well, it's Saturday night, and I just got paid. Fool about my money, don't try to save. My heart say go, go. Have a time for Saturday night. Now I'm feeling fine. I'm on a rock it out. I'm on a rip it out. I'm on a shake it out. Go ball it out. I'm on a rock it out. And ball tonight. Look and feel your best with the help of all the buzz, salon and spa. Hola, me llamo Senora Bauer y ustedes están mirando la canal de las actividades de los caballeros. Vamos caballeros. Holy cow! Bombay Dairy is celebrating their 25th year of service. With 15 employees, Bombay Dairy provides milk for all of America by milking over 700 head of Holsteins. The Leckfolds and all of Bombay Dairy are proud to support Kenya Wanamingo activities. You can contact them at 507-210-7561. Do you got milk? I'm Dylan Bartell and you're watching The Can. So go ahead and shop local and swing on down to Busby's. Busby's Hardware and Furniture in downtown Zimbroda is your place to shop for your general hardware needs. They carry the top of the name brands like reliable Milwaukee and DeWalt power tools and beautiful Valspar paint. Their furniture department also offers all types of furniture, lamps and mattresses with over three floors of selections to choose from. In need of new appliances? Well they have that too. They are a proud Whirlpool dealer and they offer a Mana, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Whirlpool appliances from freezers, microwaves, refrigerators, and more. Plus, with their very own delivery truck, Busby's offers delivery of appliances and furniture. Busby's excellent customer service and friendly staff are what separate them from their competitors. So go ahead and shop local and swing on down to Busby's Monday through Saturday, opening at 7.30 a.m. I'm Bill Miller, and this is RJ. You're watching the Knights on YouTube. Go Knights. What I really love about Ellington is being family-owned. Everybody knows everybody, and you feel like you're, you're always part of the team. We work in Hawaii, Alaska, all over the place. Seeing something different, hanging with the guys, you really get to know everybody a lot more. There's always room to grow here. If you want to move up, the opportunity to are here. They, they do what they say, they say what they do. They strive to be the best, they have a lot of passion. It was a good fit for me and my family, and I look forward to coming to work every day. I'm Rachel, and you're watching The Nights on YouTube. The Fairbold Hockey Association is excited to sponsor the CAN, and they want you to know there is an opportunity to play hockey for both boys and girls in grades pre-K through ninth grade. They believe that life skills such as teamwork and sportsmanship can be taught through the game of hockey, along with staying mentally and physically fit. If you've heard over the years that hockey is too expensive, well think again. They offer rental gear and there are huge discounts for new families. If you are wanting to introduce your child to hockey, simply go to www.fairbowlhockey.com where you can see their pricing and schedules. The association also hosts open skates for families throughout the year at the Faribault Ice Arena, which is located on the fairgrounds next to Bruce Smith Field. Consider registering your child for hockey today. I'm Colton Steberg. Sorry you have to listen to Kirby on the can. like me and don't know how to do your own taxes? Well, Gary Bukta, a CPA in downtown Kenyon, is staffed and ready to accept new clients. Longtime Kenyon residents Heidi Haugen and Angie Mills work at the firm, along with Gary and his son Jason. And Angela has been assisting Kenyon clients for over 20 years. So stop with the confusion and meet face to face with the local tax professionals at Gary Bukta CPA.
I'm Rich Kincaid, and you're watching The Can. Ken Seifert opened the hair place in 1985, and he's been serving clients in the Kenyan area ever since. His son Dylan joined in 2021, and together they offer hair cutting for men, women, and children, and hot towel shaves for men. They're open Tuesday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30, and Saturday from 8 to 3, and walk-ins are always welcome. You can call 507-789-5899 to schedule your next haircut or shave. The Hair Place, lowering your ears for 38 years. I'm Butch Lindell and you're watching The Man on the Can. Formerly known as Farmer State Bank, Heritage Bank expanded to three locations in 2019 with branches in Denison, West Concord, and Northfield. When you bank at Heritage, rest assured they have a vested interest in you and your community. Being family owned and operated, they live and work in the communities they serve. The faces you see are committed to meeting your needs and earning your trust. They value their partnership with you. Your family's financial future is as important to them as it is to you. And they are dedicated to providing products and services tailored to meet your needs. Check out HeritageBankMN.com to see all that Heritage Bank has to offer. You guys ready? Let's get this down now! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a shot and it's no good and the Knights survive the Knights take down the Vikings in a Like Josie Got just it. changed the score, Got and it. she did. That's a home Hold run on. for our pitcher, Josie Plum. And that's what's happening. Oh, nice. Nora. Back to the. Oh, oh there's a big shot to left it's field. It's, it's gone. It's a grand slam. Grand slam. Fires to the end zone. Caught! Steamer! Touchdown! Good evening, basketball fans everywhere, and welcome to beautiful Kenyon Wanamingo High School, home of the Knights. I'm Kirby Vandy Walker, joined by Jack Belke, the producer Oliver Breyer, and Jackson Nadine running the camera. Thanks for being here, guys. Jack? A couple of wins so far tonight for KW. Yes. And we've got a tall task here in the varsity game as Blooming Prairie comes in with a 17-1 record as they picked up their first loss on Saturday night against Winona Cotter, 60-61. They are still undefeated in conference play, and uh, they're on the same side of the conference as the Knights. The Knights are sitting second in the conference, tied with Triton, but they do hold the tiebreaker at the moment as the Knights did beat Triton last week. Knights are 10 and nine overall, coming off a loss to JWP Friday night, where they had one pretty good half, and then one half where things didn't go their way, 79-64. What do you think we're in store for tonight here, Jack? Well, if you're seeing it, if you saw them warming up here on that quick camera, Blooming Prairie is very long, very lengthy, very athletic, and you're not gonna have a 17 and one record unless you have guys with that stature, but one luxury we have tonight is this team has not, we haven't seen how they respond yet after a loss. Mm -hmm. They just had their first loss on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Now it's Monday. They probably didn't have a practice on Sunday in between. So maybe the Knights are catching them at the right time you and never know. can make something happen here. Well, let's go ahead and meet the players for the Knights. Hey, I'm RJ Hodgman, senior forward from West Concord, Minnesota. Hey, Mom. Colton Steberg, senior guard from Cherry Grove, Minnesota. Uh, I'm Ben Short, senior forward from across the street. I'm Logan Carroll, I'm senior guard from Kenya, Minnesota. Hey, I'm Big Chetta, I'm a senior everything, and I'm from Mingo. Hey, I'm Joel Mills, junior forward from Kenya, Minnesota. I'm Tanner Edine, junior guard from Wanamingo, Minnesota. Hi, I'm Jack Fairling, junior guard, I'm from Southern Roscoe. I'm Isaac Adin, junior guard from Wanamingo. Devin Kreisler, junior guard, Kenny, Minnesota. I'm Ross Aldorfer, junior guard from Richland Township. Kyle Vukulich, junior guard from Canyon. I'm Oliver Bauer, freshman forward, Northern Roscoe. I'm Eli Hedin. I'm an eighth grade guard from Prairie Ridge, Wanamingo. I'm Siri Kwam, and you're watching The Can. 
Holly Burrow grew up on a farm in Lake City, but when she was just 10 years old, her family lost the farm due to the financial crisis in the 1980s. From that point forward, she knew she wanted to find a way to help farmers. She graduated from River Falls with a degree in ag business, and after working numerous jobs in ag production and medical research, she wanted to get into accounting and specialize in farm tax. So, she purchased a building in downtown West Concord and opened her own practice in 2015. She's been assisting her clients in payroll, nonprofit, audits, and tax returns ever since. New clients can call 507 527 2898, and her office manager and husband Jeff will help you get set up with Holly J. Burrow, the CPA. And now for tonight's starting lineups in alternating fashion. For Blooming Prairie, a junior guard, number zero, Brady Kittleson. For Kenyon Wanamingo, at forward, a six foot three inch junior from Richland Township, number 12, Ross Aldorfer. For the Blossoms, a senior forward, number two, Gabriel Hein. For KW, at forward, a six foot two inch senior from Wanamingo, number 14, Zach Mason. For Blooming Prairie, a freshman guard, number five, Gabe Stalock. Stay low. <laughs> Stay low. For the Knights, at guard, a six foot two inch senior from Cherry Grove, number 15, Colton Stieberg. For BP, a junior forward, number 14, Cooper Cook. And for KW, at guard, a five foot nine inch eighth grader from South Wanamingo, number 21, Eli Hadeen. For Blooming Prairie, a senior guard, number 23, Zachary Hine. And for Kenyon Wanamingo, at forward, a six foot two inch junior. From Kenyon, number 24, the general, Joe Mills. The Vikes, excuse me, the uh, Blossoms are coached by Cam Rutledge. And in his sixth season as head boys basketball coach from Moland, Mr. Brent Lurkin for KW. Let's play some ball. Great job on that, Coach. Well, I almost said Vikings because Cam Rutledge is a graduate of Hayfield. Hayfield High School. Yep, same grade as my sister. I think he was a 2015 oh, okay. guy. Just in. What's that? Before we talk basketball, what? Jorge what? Polanco. Signed or traded? Traded to Seattle. Twins receive outfield prospect Gabriel Gonzalez, starting pitcher Anthony Discolanti, reliever Justin Topa, and another prospect. He so, was just at Twins Fest. Ah, good thing we didn't stay in his line. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Blossoms control the tip. And the turnaround by Hine is no good. Good start. Hine, he's a force to be reckoned with. Now the Knights starting. They're in a tall 2-3 zone here. Eli somehow slips down there, though, and gets blocked from behind. Here's Hine running the break. They give it up, and he tips it in. Offensive rebound put back as the shot by Stalo was no good. Now they're showing a little press here. Good flash by Joe. One more. Hit that. Zone defense for the Blossoms. Knights are going to have to hit some open shots here tonight. Nice cut by Steberg. Got fouled. Yep. Good pass by Joe, too. He'll go to the line. Colton Steberg put up 26 points against JWP on Friday night. Him and Zach Mason averaging about 17 points apiece. Really? Yeah, they've kind of had nights where they're both at 18, but then somebody will be at 26, the other one will be at 8. So, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. They're almost at a... Equal average. Both of them are good for Colt. Good start. Oh, 
Two to two. Knights and a man. The Twins. Get on the floor, Eli. Atta, there baby. you go. Good effort. I don't know how that wasn't a travel, though. He spun on his back, did a roll. We'll take it. Two, three. Joe rips and goes. Wow, up there. Up. Nice job. But good he puts finish. In. Pretty Tough good defense finish. by Cooper Cook, but Joe, like you mentioned, gets it to go. Joe, he's kind of been around that 10 point per game mark. Yep. Well, Knights, tall task, second best team in Section 1A. QRF has them, just behind Spring Grove. Uh -huh. So you got to give them the best effort. Spring Grove just continually top of the section. Yep. Eli, corner three. Rebounded by Brady Kittleson, his brother, wide receiver at Mankato State. Here's Zach Hine. No good. Eli's fighting for it, but Cook has it. There's that length you talked about. Offensive rebound. Colton, left hand, and he gets it. Nice bounce pass that time to free up Colton. Well, Knights, we're starting in a man. Looks like we're double helping down low, though. Yeah, he's walking. He's walking. No charge call, tip out. Uh-oh, Eli took himself out of position. Ross rips it, he gets fouled. That's gonna be a foul on Cook. And they're getting somebody off the bench, that's two on Cook. And that's number 12, Jacob Pauly, the junior forward coming off the bench. Yeah, they got a starting freshman too, a couple seniors. The Here. point. Go ahead, Jack. Their point guard is starting freshman. I was talking to the JV as he just gets a steal here. He's very solid ball handler and does a lot of great things. Oh, he missed it. But Hine is right there, and Hine has had a few 40-point games this year. 6-6. Six, six. Now they go 1-3-1 one, one extended. Zach, yeah, baby. Nice, zero. Get him in the air. Oh. I'd like to see Jack or Zach just go up and make that reverse layup. Yeah. Don't let the defense recover. Good job finding his zone though and attacking. Had a little two on one dished out, but Blooming Perry recovered fast. The Knights beat this team twice last year, but of course things change in a year. That three ball by Stalo is no good. BP 0 for 4 from 3 to start. Back to that 2-3. Ball fakes have moved it. They want to jump to the ball. Need a cutter, need a cutter here. There's a cutter, there he is. Zach nifty but can't finish. Zach Hine with the board. Got to finish when you get those chances, Jack. Joe Good pokes job, it Joe. away. Here comes Eli. Good decision by the youngster. Now he attacks. Flash up. Come on, flash up. Zach! Boom! Big three. From Shieldsville. Oh, nice move. Oh, and rebounded by Hine. He's got six easy points just on those little putbacks. Suppose when you're six foot five and you're really long, you get that opportunity, Jack. Put a body on him. Nice pass. Finish one time. He does. It's Joe, the general. We're playing right with him. General Mills. I heard it on the PA. I liked it. Well, that's from Brady. Oh. Or excuse me. As Joe picks up the foul, he wanted to charge, and that's something that they've tried to take a couple of so far. Yep. I like that. He's putting himself on the line for his team. Yeah, he's feeling that one a little bit. <laughs> kind of grabbing that wrist area. I remember. Don't say it. We would. Oh. What's that? Oh, you're charged and you broke your collarbone? <laughs> no, my, my arm. Okay. Well, I remember. We would practice taking charges. We would get the mat out, put it behind us, take charges, fall, learning how to fall without hurting yourself. You should have practiced that. 
He misses okay. that one. Ah, uh, stay. Ooh. You know, tonight is going to be one of those nights where boxing out is just not going to be good enough. You got to establish yourself and move bodies tonight because they're long. They go one three one again, full court. Knights uh, are going to have three to... now. Yep, and then they drop back. Steberg can't get it. Zach flies in, knocks it, but it's right to Kittleson. It's one on one now with Aldorfer. Aldorfer tried for the swipe, he missed. It's tied up. Three points now for Brady Kittleson. Brady Kittleson, he was kind of a dog for their uh, football team. Ran the read option a lot. Could throw it a little bit. Need a reversal. No. Oh, Joe's going to go in. The reverse is not there because the height and length of Hine really distracted that shot. I think we got to go into them in those situations. Yep. Kittleson, pull up, gets it. Smooth. Knights need a good look here. Yep. Nothing contested. Get an open shot. Zach flies in. Here's Eli. Open look. He nails it. Eli Hadeen from Prairie Ridge. His first bucket, I think. Yep. He's up to three. Kick. If you're Coach Lurkin, Viz, and Amphiton, you got to like to start. Yep. Never want to come out flat against one of the top teams, and we well, certainly have not. You just proved yourself that you can play with them, yep. you know? You just got to stay with it and... Hey! There's there we one go. of those. Joe picks up the charging call against Zach Hine. I think that was one of the keys to success for Winona Cotter, is they took a lot of charges inside that lane. Knights up one. Overloading this side, now they swing it. Steberg, open shot. Joe's there. Fresh 20. Kick it out, kick it out. Joe, corner three, it's long. Back tip, back tip, back tip, Eli. Ooh, foul's gonna be on the Knights. Zach Hine will shoot free throws and it's on Ross Aldorfer. First sub for KW is getting up, it's RJ Hodgman. Yep, Joe good. gave us some good minutes there. Tried two charge attempts. Yep, good Got energy. one of them. And he gets them both. Yeah, Blooming Prairie, they did drop down from 2A to 1A this year. Zach, nice cut. He puts it in with the left hand. Big cheddar. He's got five. Uh, contest. Colton with the board. Have they hit a three yet? 0 for 5. Keeping us in it. But we've been contesting. They haven't really had any wide open threes. Good pull up there by Zach. Push on RJ. He knew it. See what, need, what needs to happen. On those, you got to push him in while the ball is... Yeah, being in shot and in the air. So the refs are watching that. Right. I mean, not a blatant push, but just ride him in with your leg. Get him under the hoop so he can't get the ball. Out of position. 
Oh, here's Kittleson. Bounced around right to Ross, a steal. Baseline J for Eli. It's tapped out of bounds. Should be red ball, and it is. Fresh 20 for the Knights. Nice cut by RJ. Oh, he missed the bunny. Oh. Should have been. And they are calling it. He did go up and slap the board. No, I hit the rim. He grabbed the rim. Is that what he did? Yeah. I've never seen that before. I've seen this. But the backward shook. Yeah. And they'll give the bucket to RJ on the goal 10. Here's Kittleson. No good. Ross with the shot. One and done. Or Ross with the rebound. I'm sorry. Short corner look. They got a dive in that. Inside to Zach. Zach Hine with the board. Up ahead, here's Stalo. Oh, faked out the defense, but he couldn't finish. Baseball pass to Hadeen. Zach Hine right to Eli. Make a good choice. Here's Colton, back to RJ. Might have walked. No, nope, nope. they're calling a push. Ooh. Pace is good in this one, oh, Jack. 18-15, yeah. boys are running up and down. Sure, Bloom Perry looks a little off tonight, but how much of a credit is that to our good, intense defense, you know? Job, RJ. Tickles the twine. Knights have had some free throw struggles this whole season consistently, but so far we're off to a 100% start. One. Every point is valuable in these mm. games. Yes. That went off. That was the announcer jinx. I know. <laughs> Tanner Hadeen checking in. Stripped right to Zach. Another turnover. Their fifth. We only have one. Swing it. Swing it. Two quick ones against his own here. Two quick ones. Another one. Another one. See, we're, we're, we're holding it. Two. Contested shot. Oh. That's that's a third shot that I haven't really seen a good follow through from Colton yet. Here's an open look. That's off the mark for Colby. RJ sets up for three. No good. Back and forth we go, up and down. Not many offensive rebounds so far. Here's Gabe Hine. He's in there. He oh. got tapped by RJ. And he might have stepped on somebody's leg or foot. Aldorfer will check, will check back in. Well, one person that matches up with a lot of these guys from Blooming Prairie is Ross. You know, the mm -hmm. length, the size, the wingspan. So keeping him in as long as possible is crucial tonight. Yep. Blooming Prairie, four for five from the line so far. And we've got a full timeout called by Coach Rutledge. We'll be back. You're watching the Knights. It's tight. We'll be back. I'm Mackenzie Moore, and you're watching the Can. <laughs> JB's Tavern is happy to sponsor the Can again this year. And if you're looking for a good spot with good food to watch the game, JB's Tavern in downtown Wanamingo always has the game on the big screen. They're open Tuesday through Sunday for lunch and dinner, and you can dine in or take out. Scan the QR code now to check out their menu. JB's is offering game day food specials one hour before and during all Viking games this season. But that's not all. They're even giving away sports memorabilia during all Vikings games. They gave away a signed Justin Jefferson jersey week one. Entries start one hour before kickoff, and the winner will be drawn immediately after the game. 
and you must be present to win. JB's Tavern, your place to watch the game. Back here, Kenyon Wanamingo High School. A good one going, 1917 Knights. 726 left, first half. Sure is. Jack Belke along with Kirby Vandy Walker. Bringing you tonight's Gopher Conference game. Now 1 3 1 here. Yep. There's Joe with a good flash. Provide passes, provide passes. Uh oh. Kittleson with a steal. Doesn't take him long to get up and down the floor. Attack two and give yourself a better pass. You need to get a reversal here. Another turnover. Up, up. Finish. Good move. Ah, oh, nothing. You got to either go to the line or make the shot there. All of a sudden, four quick points. Late change. Look, Knights look flustered. Here's an open look. Hey, Ross buries it. Keep us in it, Ross. Another, another lead change. Great shot by Ross there, set his feet. Nice looking stroke. Kittleson from deep. Oh, splash. Their Trading first punches. made threes of the night, Coach. Yep. It was only a matter of time. Another one. Hit it. Joe, Joe. nice board. He puts it in. Tie game. Blooming Prairie faithful, getting restless. Telling their boys to rebound. As Joe skied up for that one. Inside, knocked away by Joe Mills. Zach Hine for three, and it's no good. Tanner, he's going to track it down. Get across. Oof. That was close. Oh. Uh oh. Boy, their length has given us fits. Coach Lurkin calls timeout. We'll be back. All of a sudden, it's two point lead for Booming Prairie. I'm Rudy, and you are watching the can. Hey, looking to start a project? Swing on down to Kenyon Ace Hardware, where you will find all your big name brands. Shop their selections of steel equipment, DeWalt and Old Milwaukee Power Tools, and the Yeti brand. Or maybe you need to freshen up your home with a clean coat of paint. Are you sick of shoveling snow? Stop by to check out their snowblower inventory, including Cub Cadet. Or maybe you are ready to think spring and need some Weber grill accessories or a riding lawnmower. Support Kenyon Ace Hardware today, located on Gunderson Boulevard in downtown Kenyon. Think spring, Jack. 45 degrees out today. Oh, you growing like... vegetables yet? No, we probably maybe should start. <laughs> no, baseball, it feels like May. I know. I'm sure the baseball field looks better than it might look in April. Hopefully not. We've but... played uh, games in colder weather than this. They really came on denied that pass. Right, we got to get out of there. There we go. Strong with it. Not above the head. Not above the head. <laughs> Traveled. <laughs> they have done a good job of really trapping and pressuring without fouling. Yep. Zach Hine. Misses that one and no box out. Blocked by Ross. Another offensive board and he's going to the line. So, chance to limit them to one shot. Falls short. They'll go to the line. This is not a, I mean, obviously he's a great scorer, but he's four for four from the line too. So, wonder how many points a night out of his 25 average are coming from the free, free, point line, free throw line. Excuse me. That one's good. I wish there was something like you could put all the uh, 
every team from the conference would put their stats into one location, and you could just look them up. Like volleyball, yeah. they use that max preps. Yep. You could find anybody's stats if the coach enters them. You know what I mean? Yep. Another good tip by Kittleson. Cross, open three. He nailed on a few times hey. ago. The kid from Richland Township doing damage. Two threes. Kittleson. Good D there by the Knights. You know, Lurkin, was this kind of how Lurkin was sized up when he was in high school? Like these Heen brothers, like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, skinny, lefties. Was Lurkin like that? Yeah. Is that kind of what Lurkin looked like, like a high school Lurkin? Well, he was uh, left-handed. Yep. And he's, he's the height he is now, but kind he, of could, similar. He, could, he would pound you inside. He would make threes. And then you had uh, his teammates were all good size. Oh, boy. Good contest. Good pass out. Three point game. Nice just got to slow the wave here. Find ways to get them out of position by pass faking. We could use a pin screen on the weak side to free up the shooter. Here's Zach. No good. Joe's fighting for it. Eli's got it. He attacks. Got fouled. Fifth foul on Blooming Prairie. Yeah, Joe Evert, 6'8". Yeah. Kurt Peterson was 6'3". Justin Stevenson, 6'3". Six, er, six, Nick Myron, 6'4". But we played all man. Never zone? No. Nope. Not broke, don't fix it. That's just what Coach Weeby believed. Left hand by Steberg. And that's six points for him. Uh, don't get Down split. Low. Here's Gabriel Hine. Makes us pay. Over committing inside. They kick it out for an open look. Good flash by Eli. Jump shot. Hey. hey. Atta boy. Let's keep it close here. Two minutes left. Keep it a one score game. Kittleson attacks. Got blocked by General. Make a good choice. Make a good choice. Nice hustle by Hadeen. Kick out. Here's a shot. Nail it, Zach. Ooh, oh. too strong. Two of them that have been too strong. Now they got three on two. And he lost it. Poked away by Ross. This has been fun here, Jack. Oh, yeah, we're right there. I was excited to see what Blooming Prairie's got. We got a chance for the lead here. <laughs> Knights go up one. Colton Steberg for three. Colty Bear. Our fifth made three of the half. Kittleson uh, bailed out. Who's that going to be? Is it Joe or Colton? It's Joel. That's going to be two on him. Let's see if they bring RJ back. I think you got to bring RJ in. Yeah. Yep, here he comes. Kittleson now with 13 points. Five players on the court for Blooming Prairie. Two of them have 13. Three of them have nothing. Let's see if the Knights can slow those two down. One point game. Ooh. They got active hands. Travel. Oh! Hey, oh yes! Yes, sir, Jackson Hedin. He's pumping his fist for his cousin Eli. And Eli's got seven. Chance to make it eight. 
Next foul for both teams. Going to put the other one on the bonus. And he knocks it down. Inside, stay low, no good. 50 seconds, Knights can go two for one if they go. Yep. Cut. Oh yeah, get in there, kid. Oh, just miss it, Colton's right there. Shot fakes, puts it up, left hand drops it in. Colton Steberg. And they can't go two for one, they can hold now. Blooming Prairie can hold. Steberg with 11. Play without fouling here. Ross knocks it away. Oh, right to Kittleson. Inside, Cook had it blocked. Block. Excuse me, that was Jacob Pauley. Seven seconds. Make it a contested shot. Ooh. Good contest, he misses. Zach's there, three seconds. Had it knocked away, here's Kittleson. Did he Didn't get, get it? it off. Oh, and oh. he called the foul. What a disaster to end the half. Oh, Knights had it. They tried to make something out of nothing, poked away, and the foul. Oh, boy, that could be big towards the end of the game here. Missed it. Blooming Prairie fans are yelling they should turn the light off. Everybody relax. It's a high school game. We're having a conversation. What they People want is that the lights were still on the backboard and they still did a free throw. Then he missed the free throw shot, so of course they had something to say about it. If they would have made the shot, are they complaining? No. Yeah. But bottom line is the Kenyan Wanamingo Knights facing a 17-1 powerhouse in the Gopher in Section 1A are up by two points nice. at halftime. The Knights have been scoring 30 to 45 points in the first half the last few few weeks. It's what are they going to do in the second half and I think they got to talk about that 1-3-1. One, one. We'll mention how to beat that after this break. Jack's tallying up the stats. Two-point game here at the Castle. It's a fun Monday night. We'll be back. I'm Logan Carroll and you're watching the Knights Activity Network. Located on the corner of 2nd Street and Red Wing Avenue, the Kenyon Muni is proud to support Kenny Wanamingo Schools. Did you know that a portion of the Kenyon Muni's profit goes to the city's general fund to help defer costs on other city entities, such as the swimming pool and general maintenance? The Kenyon Muni offers food and beverage seven days a week. Visit their location in downtown Kenyon to enjoy pizza and appetizers while watching the nights on the big screen. All right, back here at Kenyon Wanamingo High School, 39-37, Knights lead. Jack, the halftime stats. Yeah, defensive rebounds, we've got 10 to Blooming Prairie, seven. Mm. Offensive boards, Blooming Prairie, four, us three. We can live with that for how much taller they are, and we're doing a good job. Turnovers, we only have six, they have seven. That extra possession maybe is the difference of why we have 39 to 37 lead. Yeah. Free throws, we're four for five, not terrible, but Blooming Prairie, they're nice from the stripe too, nine for 11. Three-pointers, Knights almost shooting 50%, five for 11. And for Blooming Prairie, they're only shooting 20%, two for 10. Well, I thought to, for the Knights to have a chance against that zone, they're gonna have to knock down some long ones. They're doing that. And we got six players in the scoring column with Colton leading the way with 11, Eli Dean seven, uh, Mills and Aldorfer six, Zach with Mason with five, but for Blooming Prairie, Kittleson's been a factor, he's <coughs> up to 16. Hine with 13, and the other Hine with six, and Cook with two. Good job, Jack. 1-3-1. Um, one, one. Got us early. Yep. We can't pass it over defenders. You gotta be available. 
And the high post is still open, but it's just going to be a little higher than what they're used to. Yep. So they got to find that open spot. Don't just think elbow area. Might be find out the, to the three-point right. line or just inside of it. Right. You got to come up and find that soft spot in the zone. And then look opposite, be ready to shoot, knock it down. Yep. Pretty Confident, good half. That was confident fun. shooters. You know, these guys are long and lengthy. They're going to be flying in maybe a little faster than what we're used to, but it doesn't matter. Set your feet, get it off. Yep. Confidence, knock it down. All right, we'll be back. Seven minutes left before the second half. The Kenyon Wanamingo Competitive Cheer Team recently wrapped up their season by competing in two events up at the Twin Cities uh, competitions. The Knights varsity team consisted of five girls pictured on your screen. Keziah Bradley, Talia Watkins, Mackenzie Lankford, Sydney Eric, and McKinley Boudon. McKinley Boudon was named to the 2023-24 All-State Competitive Cheer Team. She competed nationally in All-Star Cheer for three years, having won second at Worlds last year in Florida. She decided to take a step back from that level of competition this past fall, but kept with her high school competition cheer. It went really well. We went up to the cities this weekend and we placed first at one competition and third at the other, but we're overall really proud of how we did. It's a lot more than just a sport. It's like making a family, making great memories, and I'm very proud of everyone who's helped me get to Allstate and do amazing things. With the high school team's low numbers, the team is now recruiting others to join their team. The numbers at the elementary level are strong, but the coaches and members of the high school team, they would like to see the high school numbers improve. So in an effort to gain membership, the Competitive Cheer program is hosting a community showcase this Friday, excuse me, next Friday, Friday, February 2nd, at the Kenyon Wanamingo Elementary School. Family, friends, and community members are invited to support Kenyon Wanamingo Competitive Cheer and watch the elementary and varsity team's performances starting at 5.30 next Friday. So the showcase will basically just be um, us showing off what we've worked on all season and how far we've come working this entire school year and it's just our routines and just some fun cheer stuff and it's an effort to get more people to join. The Knights are coached by Jenny Elrod and Elizabeth Coleman. Both have years of cheer and coaching experience. Coach Coleman states, in our elementary program the numbers are strong and there's a lot of interest. We're just struggling to keep the kids engaged as they reach high school. The sport takes a lot of athleticism and determination, and they are proud of the resilience of their cheerleaders that they have displayed this season. They are really excited about the future of the program. Congratulations to the KW Competitive Cheer Team. Hi, I'm Scott Van Epps. Welcome to the Knights Activities Network. The Kenyan Veterans Organizations are looking for new members. Grab a friend and stop by the Kenyan VFW to join. It is completely free to join the Color Guard and they even buy your uniform for you. The Color Guard is a volunteer organization that works around your schedule. So if you're a veteran, consider joining the Color Guard or the American Legion Post 78, the Kenyan VFW Post 141, or the Kenyan Auxiliary. The veterans wish all the Knights teams Good luck this season, and they appreciate all the KW students. I'm Gavin Johnson. You're watching the Knights on YouTube. Lifelong Wealth Advisors is a comprehensive financial planning firm that works with individuals and families to help provide clarity and purpose around their financial planning future. We've structured our entire business around advocating for our clients' best interests. Their input is really important. And I always tell clients, I don't want this to be my vision of what you think you should do. We need your feedback in terms of what's important, what your goals are, what your objectives, what you're passionate about, and come up with that plan together. Truly the best part of this business is sitting across from a client and just writing out their goals, their hopes, what they want with the future. Because money is a tool to buy things, to buy time. And it's part of what we are here to do is to help them realize what they can do with that money. The best job that we can do is to build a plan for the client, help train that behavior, and then stay out of their way. I am Jeff Wibben and you're watching The Can.
I don't know about you, but I am not a handyman. Even the most basic jobs, I screwed up. So I've stopped putting unnecessary holes in the wall and instead called a crew at L&M Construction for our interior and exterior home projects. Not only are they terrific craftsmen, the crew is from the area and even have kids in our district. So do yourself and your home a favor and call the crew at L&M Construction for your next home project. Please. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. Cook just cleared Joe Mills out with a box out. He bounced it out of bounds. Joe's kind of grabbing that hip, slammed down hard. Sloppy first couple of minutes here in the second half for both teams. Kick out, Joe for three. One time, Joseph. Carroll coming. Yep, this is what both JV and C squad teams did against the man. Good job sagging that, Joe. Wall him up. Circle, they call it. It's curling that top pick. Open shot for Stalo. He's been off the mark. They tap it right to Cook. Cook can't get it. Zach has it. Ooh. Offensive board. Oh, he got yeah. blocked. Pointless. No, stay down, stay fundamental. Oh, he's walking, walking. Oh, and he, oh, they call a charge. All right. Follows on Zach Hine. That's going to be number three. This is Joe Mills' second charge. He took that night. one again? Yep. He's tried it three times. I thought they had a travel call, but still in zone. They're going to try to go off. Zach in the post here. Oh, nothing there, nothing there. Don't force. Kick. Out of hands there. We've hit the rim once in the first <laughs> three and a half minutes here. Got to get a shot off. Nice move. We've got a 30-second timeout called by BP. Tie game. We'll be back. I'm Blair Reynolds. Since opening their doors for business back in 2012, Minnesota Wi-Fi has been associated with a high level of quality and professionalism. That's largely because of their concerted effort to deepen their connections they have within our local communities and to continuously improve their services they provide. Minnesota Wi-Fi would like to thank their loyal customers, and if you are looking for an affordable and reliable internet provider, contact Minnesota Wi-Fi at 507-634-9434 or go to mnwifi.com for more information. Well, what do you think Coach Larkin had to say there in that half of that little timeout break? Stop turning it over. Fair. Could be a solid assumption. Four out of the six possessions we had. Ross, ooh, got the hot hand. Wouldn't mind if he would have pulled that one. Nice, nice little dish. Nice pass. That good, was good basketball. Good cut. Joe finishes. He's got eight. Nice hand by Ross. Here's Gabriel. He decides to put it on the deck. A little one dribble pull up. No good. Cook. Cook. Just a beast. Volleyball. That foul is called on Steberg. Steberg's first foul. Cook with a chance to have another lead change. Oh, that's got to be displacement. Yep. That's going to be a foul on Gabe Hine. His Gabriel. fourth? No, that's Third. his brother. Oh, my bad. His first. Twin, identical twins, identical hair. Yep. Identical length. Well, one's got a knee sleeve, though. Different shoes. Yep. 41s. Joe versus Cook gets, he got blocked. So it'll be Knight's ball out of bounds. It's the third foul on BP. That's a third on Cook. Here comes the sub. It's going to be Pauly.
Space out. Space out. There's the reverse I was talking nice about. Move. A little English on it. Ah, come on, stay down. Tough pass. Kittleson. Blocked Good by block. Aldorfer. Into Joel, make a good choice. Eli, open corner three. He's got, got it. it! Oh, and he holds it out. Showing the crowd some love. Nice shot, Eli. 11 points, tied for the leading scorer tonight. Yeah, of course, he had that game winner with one second left against Schaefer Academy. Kick out, stay low, short. Oh, he missed the bunny. Jump ball's called, Rutledge wants a push. Well, it all could have been avoided if he makes the first bunny. Yep. Blooming Prairie, faithful, they don't like the call. Knights are just waiting for them to go back to that 1-3-1. One, one. They're currently still in man. Need a reversal now. Need a reversal. Swing it. Deep three. Oh! Chetta! Zach Mason. He's got 10. Kick out, here's Gabriel. Back to stay low. That was a good under control move by stay low. His first bucket of the night, the freshman. Back out to Eli. Inside to Zach. One on one versus Gabriel. And he can't get the roll, Gabriel with the board. Shifty little move. Oh, yeah. Oh, here they come. Here they come. 13, they call. Yep, they're going to switch D. You need a flasher. You see where that high post was that time? Wide open. Got to attack, though. We got to attack. Attack. Eli absorbs the contact. Joe's fighting for it. Zach has it. One more, one more. Oh, a steal. But they force that pass, and Coach Rutledge is getting the player off the bench. Says you gotta, you gotta value the ball more than that. You gotta flare us out for Colt if we can get in the corner. Not He's, there. Don't force. Strong with the kid. And we've got a timeout called by Coach Lurkin. We'll be back. It's getting a heated four-point lead. Hey, I'm RJ Hodgman. You're watching the can. Plymouth. Built to exacting standards. Built for punishment. Day in, day out. Whatever the world dishes out. Performance tested until it's people ready. Keeping every joint, every leg, every surface tough. Plymold, ingeniously solving problems. Dedicated to delivering the product you need where and when you need it. Balancing design, function, durability, and value. Every kind of client, spanning dozens of industries and applications. Built with pride. Pride in craft. Pride in employee ownership. Pride in a product that people around the world have relied on every day for over 70 years. All Thanks, Plymold, for sponsoring the stream. It's Knight's Ball out of the timeout. 10-22, second half. Now they go back to man. Rutledge mixing it up. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't a good decision there. Make a stop. 
Oh, he missed it. Ross has it. Up to Eli, back to Zach. Just made his last one. Eli. Ross has it. And Zach buries it. Louis Perry said it was out of bounds, but it was just the corner of the backboard. That's yeah. in play. Gabriel just finds himself open, and he makes the Knights pay. He's up to 20. I mean, come on. Can't go under those screens when you got the leading scorer in the conference shooting. No plan there. One on one. He's gotten behind the back a few times. Colton nice has defense, it. boys. Oh. Remember that play, Jack. Remember that play. Good job by Zach not going for the behind the back. Give him Come some on. time. Now they're going to start trapping those sidelines. They go back to zone. I'd like to see Zach get in that high post and operate. Somebody sneak in there. Sneak in. It's open. You see it? Seven seconds into Ross. He got bumped. And, and a one. basket. Colton with the pass that led him right into that, and he finishes with the contact. Ross will toe the line. Ross has uh, eight points. We're that creeping foul. on five guys in double figures for the Knights here. That's what they needed to take, to have the chance to take down a really good team like this. You've got to have contributors all over. Kittleson will bring it up. Seven point ball game. Starting that circle offense again. Outside. Ooh. Nice pass. Cooks back in. Yeah, that's a foul. Can't block it from behind like that. It's a that's a push. Cook will go to the line. I think he's 0 for 1. I'm not sure. Yep. Maybe you know. He is 1 for 2. Okay. And he knocks them both down. We'll go back 1-3-1 one, one now. Ooh. All passes need to be snapped right now. Got flash. Go. Eli with good positioning, and he can't get it. It's a scram. They have it. Knights had a good look. Knights defense recovers. Inside knocked away by Joe. Oh, and he hit him in the head. That'll be Joe's third. You can kind of live with that, though. I mean, tipped it, going for it out of bounds, trying to make a play to an extent. Blooming Prairie's I bench mean, giving him a hard time saying, get Velcro on. Sure, yeah. Sure, he's got 20 points, but you're going up against the number one scorer in the conference, Joe Mills, hanging tough. Tip. Might have been knocked away, I was just going to say. They have five seconds on the shot clock. Probably a lob toss play in the middle. For Why not? Number two here, I'm guessing. It's going to be a lob. Here we go, Joe. Lob. Oh, no. They're going to hand it off. Good contest by Zach. Colton has it. That's a pretty nice play design. Oh. Just the nice defended it well. Bounce pass. Yeah, get out of there, Joe. Uh-oh, uh. we forced that one. Three on three. Now it's a three on two. Good wall up. Yeah, Joe did a great job there. Joe, that was 
Nice job of staying vertical. Well, that's big. You know, if that's a foul, that's his fourth. Now with seven minutes left, you don't know what we call. Aldorfer, corner pocket. That's three triples for Ross. What a big night and a night we needed him. He's got 12. Four players in double figures for the Knights. That contest by Joe was pretty strong. Don't foul, or excuse me, be strong. Up to Eli. Oh, we got catch first. Eli tried to move before he had it and turned it over. Don't foul, don't foul. Kick out, Gabriel decides to put it on the deck. One dribble, pull, it's good. Smooth. And he's in control. Yep. So the Knights had a chance to get a shot off. They turn it over and give up two. No, stay within yourself. Stay within it. Colton, shot fakes, goes up. Can't finish the bunny. Zach with the board. Risky, risky. Here's Gabriel, contested by Ross, and he knocks it in. So we miss a layup, and now we give up a shot, and it's a four-point game. Timeout called by Coach Lurkin. He senses that the team needs to take a break and regroup. We'll be back. Knights up, Dump. Knights up. I'm Cheryl Dahl, and you're watching the Knights Activities Network. Revlon Alignment is happy to sponsor the can again this year. Through quality, service, and honesty, Revlon Alignment has built a reputation as one of the area's most reliable alignment and auto shops in southern Minnesota. They have the experience needed to help you with all your auto repair and tire needs. And now, their new heavy-duty alignment bay is ready to service any semi or heavy-duty truck needs that you may have. Call 507-824-2710 or visit their website at RevlonAlignment.com to schedule an appointment today. Revlon Alignment, getting you back on the road since 1981. Monday night here at the castle. Knights up by four, hosting Blooming Prairie tonight. Both teams trying to get back in the win column after picking up a loss this weekend. Knights ball after the timeout. They've got two left and Blooming Prairie has three timeouts remaining. Should be a fun 5.43. Yep. Been some great basketball here. Man defense. Don't force. Kick it out and let's regroup. 15, now 13 on the clock. Zach nails it. Mid range for Zach Mason. He's got 15. He's had a big night. Ooh, Kittleson, no good. That was good body control. I know he missed the shot, but everything about that looked nice and smooth. Colton steps through. Couldn't finish. He's got to get back. He's got to get back. Five on four. Kittleson had it blocked. Joe! No, nope, don't force it. Good decision. Get a real good look here. Six point game here. Lots of time for either team. Knights need some big stops. Here's Zach. He pulls up, no good. Colton skies for the board. Coach Lurkin says, slow down, we're running Cinco. Five out offense. Come on, Joe. Coach Lurkin yells, come on, value the ball. And now we got a foul down here. Fourth foul on the Knights. That'll be Zach's first foul. Well, you have nine turnovers this half, and Blooming Prairie only five, so that's four possessions. Yeah, they're getting a sub in for Joe. It's RJ. Is this the first sub this half? Yep, those boys wow. are 
Those boys are running. Baseline out of bounds. Gabriel against Zach. Inside, Cook had a, ooh, he had it right away. He gives it up. Stay low, three. Long. And they can't reach it, it's Knight's ball. He's kind of getting a little frustrated as he's had some open looks. Dylan Mann. Let's see our best man play right here. It's been a few possessions since we've had a good look. Don't force it. Turn and face. Ooh, volleyball spike right there. Nice block, but Knights retain the ball. Yeah, that's all right. Knights have 12 seconds on the shot clock. Got eight seconds now. We've got moving. a moving screen on RJ. Turnover. Second straight possession with a turnover. Three fouls on RJ. Almost crunch time. Oh, it is crunch time. It is but now. Yep. Yeah. Three minutes left in regulation. Knights are trying to contest every shot. Yep, here's an open one. We didn't communicate. It's in and out. Zach with a good box out. He had a good look, just couldn't finish. Ross finds himself open. Oh! The kid from Richland. Ross. 15 points. Staying between your man and the ball. Nine point game here, coach. Here's an open shot, he decides, oh, step back. No good, Zach with the board, he's strong with it. Has it stripped, but they call a foul. That's gonna be four on Zach Hine. That's four on him and five on the team. Now they crank up full court pressure. Knights with two timeouts. Here comes Steberg now, racing against Kittleson. 30 on the clock. Oh, he steps through, he puts the left hand to lay up in. Colton's first basket this half. He's got 13. A little step around. 11 point game. Oh, Stalo has to go through, but he retains possession. Stay in front. Switch it, just switch it. Good deflection. Knights can sense it. They're cranking yep. up their pressure, getting their hand on the ball. But you got to finish. These guys can score in bunches. Cook working against RJ. Gabriel, tough shot contested, but he fouled him on the arm. That was a tough shot. But yep. Zach was. tried to contest, and he hit him on the arm. Good call. If you're blooming, you want to get to the line as much as possible, yeah. stop the clock. So this is what they want, as long as they can execute. The Knights, you've earned this opportunity. You've played hard enough for this chance of being up double figures with us in 10, as he puts both in. Just, Just got to finish it here. Hardly hits the rim. Knights with two timeouts left, under two minutes. Coach Lurkin saying, slow down. They go back to man. Zach takes it, has it blocked. He was out of bounds. Ross is there, he got fouled. It'll be the sixth foul on Living Prairie. And that might be Zach Hines' fifth foul. Looking like it. And two of those fouls came on charges. And he will head to the bench. So they're going to use the 20 seconds that they're given. And Colby Vigeland enters, number one. Box set for KW. We'll pick the picker here. 
Ooh, risky smart, boys. pass. Might need a timeout. Oh, they just strip it. They don't want to foul him. Kick out. Knights recover. This is Vigilant. He puts it on the deck. Goes up. Blocked by Ross. And Steberg oh. fouls him, and that'll put him at the line. And that one's no good. RJ with the board up ahead to Colton. He was open, but they decide not to pass it. That's all right. Zach will get fouled. He's going to go to the free throw line. 105 left, nine point game, one and one. That foul was called on number two, Gabe Hine, Gabriel Hine. <clears throat> Knights got a rebound without fouling if they're going to try for an offensive board here. Yep. And Zach hits it. He's got a team high 16. I'm strong. Be smart. Be smart. Good job. One minute left here at the castle. Switch it. Switch it. And they attack, and Kittleson hits it. And they call timeout. They've got two left. We'll be back. Knights up eight. I'm Kiefer Olson. You're watching the Night Activity Network. Oh, no. Hope that's not my tire. No. No. Oh, no. When your vehicle lets you down, Trust the mechanics at River Road Repair to get your day back on track. River Road Repair is a full-service auto shop located on Highway 60, just west of Wanamingo. So whether your car won't start or it just needs a little TLC, call the pros at River Road Repair to schedule an appointment today. All right, Knights ball. Make your free throws. Don't turn it over. Yep. You pull it out. Strong with it. You got two timeouts. And Zach gets fouled. He was just at the line. One for two. What are the Knights for the game? Six for seven. Okay. Or no, six for eight. Sorry. Okay. We're four for five and we're two for three this half. All right. Zach goes through his routine, takes a deep breath. Nails it. Ah. RJ with it. RJ. And he takes a timeout right away. A great call by Coach Lurkin. It's a 30 second timeout. We're going to keep it right here. And uh, Knights. It'll be their ball. It's going to be man defense. Throw it in. Be strong with it. Get fouled. Go knock them down. Yeah. You got to love what you've seen. Good turnout here. Blooming Prairie has a good crowd. More and more people. Maybe they stopped in after halftime. Looks a little bit more full than it was to start. Mm. But yes, nine point lead. And quickly, busy week again. Tomorrow we'll have the girls game against the Bulldogs from Plainview Elgin Millville on the stream. Thursday, the wrestlers head to Medford. And, of course, we've got the doubleheader on Friday, girls and boys basketball at Hayfield. The girls will play second. The boys' varsity starts at 6 o'clock. Here we go. Knights ball. Into RJ. He got fouled, but they're close to a jump ball. Thought that, thought that should have been a bounce pass. Yep. So, RJ, does he have a free throw today? Nope. For his first attempts. Only got one, I think, unless they called it a shooting one. It's the bonus. Yep. And he 
puts it in. And the senior gets both. Five points for RJ. Contest every shot, do it without fouling here. Good job. Give him a two, give him a two, but contest it. Nice contest, Rossi blocks it. And it's gonna be a foul on Blooming Perry. It'll be a double bonus opportunity for RJ. Knights kind of put everything together tonight for this game, Jack. Yep. But Ross Allendorfer's got to be a big story in this game. 15 uh -huh. points. Everybody that uh, saw the floor tonight provided an impact. Yep. And he gets the friendly bounce. Contest. No foul, no foul, no foul. Good contest. Oh, Cook with a strong board. He gets it to go. Timeout called by Coach Rutledge with 23 and a half seconds left. Knights with one timeout left if they get in trouble on this inbounds. And Knights are kind of running out of section opponents remaining on their schedule. So this could be a really big win in terms of seeding. Oh, oh. yeah, we're, we're neck and neck, I think. The big difference is like we beat Schaefer, we're just right above them, and we lost to Fillmore and Wabashaw Kellogg, and there's us four neck and neck. So sure. if Blooming Prairie maybe played two of those four teams, mm -hmm. maybe that gives us the edge, you know? And yep. But also, I do believe Randolph is maybe below us, but they beat us. Maybe Randolph's oh, they're in do, they're double, I'm double I'm a conference. Yep. But yeah, 21 or 20 teams in Section 1A. But it's starting to get that point of the year where you start looking at those. Well, we only have three more home games left for boys. Really? Yep. All right, here we go. RJ is going to inbound. He can run the baseline. Correct. Right, Ross is right. It. Colton's got it. He got fouled. So, Colton. 13 points. What's he, did he have any free throws tonight? Uh, I don't keep track of individual free throws. This why it'd be nice as announcers to have that, remember that page I talked about, all Gopher Conference teams put their percentages in? Yeah. This is where it comes nice. I had Colton 73%. Sure. Is and he that puts that in. in. Knights don't have any rebounders. Put them both in. Hine for three. No good. Zach's going to let it go out of bounds, but they save it. Kittleson winds up. That one's to the left. And Cook batted it out of bounds. Well, that's gonna. It's gonna do it. Pretty coach. much do it. Is are they just gonna let us dribble it around? And they do. So the Knights pick up an impressive victory tonight as the crowd stands and gives them a standing ovation. Knights improve to 11 and nine, and they're playing well at the moment. Blooming Prairie, they fall to 17 and two on the year. We'll let Jack tally up the, the game stats. We'll be right back. I'm Claire Larson, and you're watching the Knights Activity Network. I've got that blue sky. I've got that sunshine. Just like the birds that fly Ooh, ooh They're singing their sweet songs Like nothing could be wrong They've got
got it right, no worries inside. Whether you want to relax or play, Riverview Retreats has your place to stay. It don't get better than this, no, it don't get better than this. It don't get better than this, no, it don't get better than this. Before the night's through, I want to kiss. All right, exciting night here at the castle as the Knights take down top 10 ranked Blooming Prairie, 73 to 60, and uh, Jack, go for it. Yeah, like you said, a fun night. For the Knights, we had 20 defense rebounds. They had 15 offensive rebounds. We had five. They had seven, which is pretty good for how much stronger and, or not stronger, but lengthier than they are compared to us. So yep. good job boxing somebody out tonight. Turnovers, we had 16. Okay. They had 13. So, I mean, we lost the turnover battle and still won by 13 points. Free throws, we were 11 for 14, one of the best free throw nights we've had all year. They were 13 for 17. And for the three-pointers, the Knights almost 50%, 9 for 20. Yeah. And Blooming Prairie, just short of 25%, 3 for 15. I know the Knights rely on Zach Mason and Colton Steberg to do a lot of their heavy lifting, but Aldorfer and Eli Hadeen hit some great shots. Yes, what do you they got? did. What do you Individual got? scorers, we had... Zach Mason leading the way with 17, Colton Steberg 15, and Ross Aldorfer with 15, like you said. Eli Hedin with 11, mm -hmm. Joseph Mills with 8, and R.J. Hodgman a big 7. So nice scoring yeah. spread out. And for Blooming Prairie, Gabriel Hine averaging 25 a night, leading the conference. He bumped that up by 1 with 26. Brady Kittleson 18. Cooper Cook, who was in foul trouble most of the night with 8. And Zachary Hine with 8, and maybe a couple Stalek with 2. But yes... A fun night at the castle, maybe a statement game for the rest of the conference and section that says, hey, this Kenny Wanamingo team can play with anybody. And they can. It's just putting it all together like they did tonight. 60 points given up to this team is a great defensive effort. Yep. And uh, it starts by trying to take charges. Joe Mills, a great job. But, you know, Bloom Blooming Prairie, I think they're just going through a funk right now yep. in terms of it's a long season. Every kind of team has those moments. Even the Timberwolves, you know, in the NBA, even uh, college teams, they're just kind of going through 17 right now. wins in a row. Now they're back-to-back yep. losses. They need a big practice probably tomorrow. They're going to be all right, I think, though. Yep. Knights, they'll regroup and uh, celebrate this win. They will not play until Friday night, 6 o'clock at Hayfield. Thanks to Oliver Breyer for running the computer. Thanks to Jackson Hadeen for running the camera. And thanks to my man JB for helping out on the mic again tonight. I'm Kirby Vandywalker. Enjoy.